discussion? Uh, yeah. Oof. Special advisor is being issued to update Ian's current forecast intensity. Recent known aircraft. Careful of this, by the way. Sorry. Oh, you didn't do anything. Just making note. Special advisory is being issued to update Ian's forecast intensity. Recent NOAA and Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter flight level winds are as high as 160 knots with SFMR data around 135 knots and a central pressure down to 937 millibars. This supports a current intensity of 135 knots. The forecast intensity is raised to 135 knots at landfall and we are now forecasting catastrophic storm surge of up to 12 to 16 feet from Inglewood to Bonita Beach, Florida. No other significant changes were made to the forecast. So that's right where our one probe is, because Inglewood is just north of Fort Myers Beach, and Bonita is just south. <coughs> so we have one probe in the absolutely catastrophic zone. Maybe we should think about... Putting another? Do we have time? <laughs> I don't know. Debatable. It is 26 nautical miles from shore. That's the latest movement. Probably like it's seven. Ten miles per hour. Two hours. I'd be close getting back. That's yeah, a little fucking sketchy. Yeah. That probe is going to get insane footage. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Please stay there. Please be working. Holy shit. I'm getting the chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here's the late, yeah, the latest one got updated. It's crazy. Oh my god. Send that to Amber. That's like a fucking tsunami. Dude, Reed's out like here somewhere. He's like staying at somebody's house, he said. That he knows or just met? I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> He's out here somewhere, sketchy as fuck. We'll see if he actually stays there. I feel like he does that a lot where he's like, oh, I'm gonna do this. Then. Well, he stayed there last night, I guess. But I hope he doesn't stay there. <laughs> That's terrifying. Dude, 12 foot storm surge? 12 <laughs> well, to 16. I wonder if we put that probe high enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, that's probably that's probably twelve feet. The okay, so the XP is just above feet. me, so that's six one. And then you're six three. And it was about it, it was face level. Right at face level, so it's about thirteen feet. And that's probably that's probably a solid foot above sea level. Sea level maybe so. two feet. Probably two feet. <laughs> this could be close. <clears throat> can you imagine if you just get houses floating by on that probe? Hey, remember when I said can you imagine your probe on Mexico Beach? That's it might imagining. happen. Okay guys, so for those of you tuning into the chat, we're here in Punta Gorda. We were thinking about riding this thing out down by Fort Myers Beach, but it's intensifying and it might go make a run for Cat 5. So we're gonna probably stay here where it's a little safer. Um, we do have a probe on Fort Myers Beach that is going to be capturing 12 to 16 foot storm surge. <coughs> we just put a probe up here in Punta Gorda that be could be getting up to 10 feet of storm surge. Yeah, <laughs> let's see what our what's our surge where we're at. It's a little spooky. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Here's us. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, fuck. there's gonna be a little swearing on this stream, guys, because this is a little. We knew it was gonna it's be a lot intense. We knew it was gonna be gnarly, but not this gnarly necessarily. Wow.
good news is if we do get into a bad situation, like I can see they blocked it there, but I'll just leave the car. <laughs> oh, it's <Well>. fine. <laughs> we'll get in. Yeah. If water's coming up, I don't think they're gonna be like, no, so you can't park you, you can't come in. <laughs> I'd be like, a move or I will ram your truck. <laughs> It's so crazy that we're approaching a Cat 5 when, like, two days ago, we were wondering if it was even going to be a major hurricane at landfall. You can say that again. There's live feeds from some of those hotels in Fort Myers Beach, too, so until those go down, we'll be able to see what's going on down there. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> that's trying to do the big it's thing all the way around. Doing the thing. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> it is going to be a crazy day, there's no doubt about that. This is going to be one for the record books. Day that we remember for a very long time. The storm surge is going to be next level, possibly, probably the biggest storm surge we've ever experienced. I read earlier too that this has the potential to be one of the costliest disasters in U.S. history. We're estimating, I think it was 13 billion dollars to 20 billion dollars in damages. Hmm. So yeah. Oh my God. Uh, Jen asking what time it is. It's about 7 a.m. here. Just past 7 a.m. Any bit better of a view and not be around all these chasers. I don't want to be around any of these chasers. I don't even know if these are chasers. They're probably just like. Alright, so let's scope out other locations too. Yeah. Um, well, let's get a game plan just so I'm not roaming around wasting gas. So. Sure. Um, Let's just drive up and down this a little bit and see what there is. This Highway 41? Yeah, maybe just go down a little bit. Okay. I mean, we don't want to go in any of those neighborhoods necessarily unless we're trying to die. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? Uh, this one is moving at 10 miles per hour right now, but it is expected to slow on approach. So we'll probably go down to like five miles per hour or less at some point. The sun is just starting to come up here in Punta Gorda, Florida with borderline cat. Cat 5 cat. I can't even believe I'm saying that. <coughs> Considering we weren't sure if we were even going to get a major hurricane a few days ago. We weren't even sure if it was going to stay a hurricane at landfall. Borderline Category west. 5 Hurricane Ian just offshore, about 20 miles offshore. 25 miles. getting pissed. It just keeps getting, oh my god. <laughs> that northeast quad is insane. That's a problem. Dude, that's gonna be so bad for this area right here. Especially if it, if it comes in at that angle. Your probe is about to be put to the test. Everything there is about to be put to the test. Yeah. sleep last night. <laughs> How are we on gas? Uh, three fourths. Let's find out 
find exactly exactly where Jim shot that stuff in 2004. You're <laughs> right. Well, you'd cool with his phone number when she texted him. It's your best friend. <laughs> we have best teeth. This is where we are right here. I'll put a marker, even though you probably can't see it on the screen. This has been, <coughs> we, we've seen a lot of hurricanes, and by now, and this has potential to be the craziest and most destructive. And, you know, Max was in Laura, I was in Michael. Saw a lot of crazy shit. And yeah, this is scary. This could be the worst of both of them. You guys are uh, just tuning in. We're in Punta Gorda, Florida. High end category four, Hurricane Ian, about 25 miles offshore. <coughs> we will be live for as long as we possibly can. However, conditions may get too intense and we may have to retreat to a shelter where we may not be able to film a whole lot from the car and or the cell service may go out if the uh, towers go down. So we'll do our best. Share the stream if you have any friends or loved ones in the area that might want to check it out. And we do this stuff constantly and there will be high resolution 4K video from both Aaron and myself put out from this event once, uh, once it's over. So the most dramatic shots, the highest quality will be put on my channel and his. So please consider subscribing if you are into extreme severe weather content. We got a lot of it. Just a month ago, month and a half ago, Aaron and I were in Iceland shooting an erupting volcano late August because we thought, well, there's nothing going on with hurricane season. We might as well go check something out. So we flew into Reykjavik and documented a volcano for a week. Came back, absolutely nothing was happening with the tropics. Thought this hurricane season might uh, might just be a little bit of a dud, and here we are with uh, here we are with a really gnarly storm right on our doorstep. So not only, much else to say. Only takes one. Yeah, only takes one, and this is definitely one. The one. <laughs> Sorry, got disconnected briefly. <clears throat> oh my God, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is one of the most intense northern eye walls I've ever seen on radar. <laughs> even, it, Laura wasn't even that red. It was no. red, but it wasn't that red. No. Where's that tape? I'm gonna tape this in so it doesn't pop out on accident. It's gonna get stressful. Uh, but, sorry, as I was saying, we are not going to be able to be talking as much here in a little bit. We've got a lot to keep track of and pay attention to, so. The laptop is going in the back seat at some point here in the next probably 30 minutes and we're just going to be doing our thing. We're not going to be answering questions. I've gotten in the description, we're in Punta Gorda, that's where we're at, that's where we're going to stay most likely, almost certainly. We have probes on Fort Myers Beach and Port Charlotte Beach and yeah, I don't know what else to say. so clutch if we could pull one more time.
members asking if they like have time to leave. I'm like, if you're gonna do it, you need to like leave all your shit and go now. Yeah. Like, like you have two hours. They do have time. Them. Yeah. Like you need to not pack anything. You need to just leave you now. Get the bare minimum essentials and get out in the yeah. next ten minutes. Yeah. Get some food, water, leave. Yeah. Any important documents? <laughs> yeah. See, this is what you don't want, is people waiting till the last second to leave, but, you know, some people think, oh, well, it's probably not going to be that bad, and then it is that bad, and then they're like, shit. Well, that was the problem with the forecasting models, too, is that it was, like, showing me, like, a mid-three at landfall, which is bad, but it's not, like, it's not, you know, catastrophic, per se. But now that it, no model showed it as a Cat 5 on approach, and now everyone that stayed behind is like, oh, God. Well, it's better if you can just get out for a couple days. It's crazy. It's gonna be insane. And people are not prepared for this in this area. They have not experienced a storm like this since Charlie, but this is gonna be a whole different monster than Charlie because the area of intense category four winds is gonna be so much larger. Char Charlie had a, cat or a five mile wide eye. This one has like a 40 mile wide eye. Let's see covers on those. This doesn't look like it had covers on the actual pumps itself, but we can go double check. I'm gonna double check. Just in case. Really nice to fuel up one more time, even though we're doing just fine. Yeah, we won't be nearly as mobile for long either. Cool. If this does get confirmed as a Cat 5, I never thought I'd experience two Cat 5s in my lifetime. I did. And this close though, <laughs> I not, mean. Not this close together. Oh. It's been only four years since the last one. Oh yeah, that's just the diesel I saw. Oh, oh well, pumps are off. <laughs> Bummer. Yep. Yeah. I think they're open inside. No, no there's chains. Yeah. I'll get an energy drink. Already flat, wow. fresh water flooding. That's not good. No, not Here, oh, film this. Oh wow, yeah, I didn't even know. Look at this, guys. That's just from rain. That whole entire street is flooded all the way down. <coughs> Damn. That's not good. No. <laughs> this is from the outer bay. Somebody said, y'all need Monster Java, mean bean. <laughs> we do have monsters. Would you like one, Aaron? Or are you I doing actually, just fine? I would actually really like one. I'm tired. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Where's everybody from? Post where you're from. Gosh, all the way down there, dude. Hmm. It's a good thing that they're not gonna get much more rain. You know, the Everybody from the scene from Twister, when they're like, you know, most people spend their whole lives avoiding stressful situations. And here we are. Already getting some tropical storm gust. <laughs> Got that eerie sound in the power lines. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is 
way too blue. <laughs> Freaking lens fog. Sounds like a bagpipe. Look how symmetrical that is. Yeah. I just need to just chill out here for a minute. Okay, yeah. moist. <laughs> you mind pointing that at these trees, maybe? Yeah. Trees are you talking about? I'm sorry. Yeah, there's just trees blowing in the wind, something. While we're oh. sitting here just diddling our thumbs. Over here. Or we can go back towards town. It might be more for us to film there. I mean, we're already right here, so I might as well sit there for a couple minutes. Constricting. Wow. Good eyes are, I would have never noticed that. That's crazy. <laughs> We're here? Yeah, right at the red dot. Somebody said we're funny, thank you. We try. We try. We try to make ourselves a little bit more relaxed in this situation by a, a slight bit of humor. Max and I are pretty good at doing that. Yeah. That's why we get along well chasing. We spend a lot of road, hours on the road together. We gotta have this similar personality or it doesn't work well. Oh. Big Pond Cable Guy says smash that thumbs up button. Yeah, do that and subscribe. That'd be super cool. We're really trying to get to his favorite number. We need to get to my favorite number, <laughs> which is, of course, as everybody knows, it's an obvious number. Many people's favorite yeah. number, as I'm yeah. sure. We've heard it talked about a lot, as a matter of fact. Let me see here. Yeah, he's it's digging back in the memory. Uh, it's just, I have yeah. so many favorite numbers. Yeah. My absolute favorite number is 36,000. 36,000 and one actually. Yeah, that's, that's you know, because one is like, it's like being number one. And we like being number one. It's like one. putting the edge ahead if you're like, you know, doing a bet, you know, you yeah. do one. There very, just, very edgy. You know, just to be edgy. So we have 35,700 subscribers. If we get to 36,000 by the end of this live stream, which I'm sure we will because we got 200 yesterday, <laughs> uh, I will do absolutely nothing. I will just live stream this category five hurricane. <laughs> Almost category five. Oh. 
Steven thinks it'll go 160 at landfall. <laughs> like, hmm. Let's figure out where we're gonna put our other probe because we're not meeting up with Reed anymore. I don't care what he's doing. I'm okay. staying here. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm gonna need my sunglasses. We can, we can still chill here for a while. I just mean like in the next 30 minutes, let's find a good place to put a... <laughs> let's find a... <laughs> let's find a good place to put the thing. I want my satellite image. I want my invisible satellite image. There's a little lightning in the northeast eye wall now. Oh, shoot. We are in Punta Gorda, guys. The, the location is in the description. Punta Gorda to Port Charlotte. Uh, exact cross streets? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're in Punta Gorda. Shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we're 12 like, to 16 feet all throughout here. We're like right there. No, we're at oh, that yeah, little... There we are, yeah. We're at that, that nub. nub. <laughs> hmm. We might be stunk. A little gust. This Hear is the also, sound of the hurricane. Uh, this will also be one of, if not the strongest hurricane in Southwest Florida history. Yeah. Getting these recurves, you don't always get the strongest storm. Usually, it has already peaked by this point. And we uh, we were talking about this earlier, and some of you will know what I'm talking about, some of you won't. But it's just an interesting fact. Uh, this is a similar situation to what happened with Hurricane Michael, where the the trough interacting with the system that was you know potentially going to weaken it before landfall is actually enhancing it. It's enhancing the outflow channels, causing it to, to go gangbusters with extra fuel, and it's in the hottest part of the Gulf of Mexico right now. It's basically everything that <clears throat> needs to happen for this thing to go fully to its fullest potential. It's all happening. Yeah. The, ba the worst case scenario that we were trying to like not hype up because it was like, okay, like it could happen, but like the odds are of it happening are very slim and it's, it's happening. And then for those wondering too, this is the latest key messages from uh, the National Hurricane Center. Catastrophic storm surge inundation of 12 to 16 feet above ground level with destructive waves are expected somewhere along the southwest Florida coastline from Englewood to Bonita Beach, including Charlotte Harbor, which is where we are. Uh, residents in these areas should urgently follow any evacuation orders in effect. Catastrophic wind damage is expected. Heavy rainfall will spread across the Florida peninsula through Thursday and reach portions of Northeast US later this week. Wow. So, yeah. Surge probes are gonna get tested today. Gust to 190 miles an hour. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine getting a 190 mile an hour gust? No. An EF5 tornado is 200 plus. No, I can't imagine that. <laughs> I think the highest gusts I've ever experienced are probably 145. If we're getting a 190 mile an hour gust, we're going to the garage. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. that's actively happening. Yeah, Aaron. <laughs> we are going to do that. We're going to go to the garage and hunker down. Look at, look at this trying to... Oh, it's trying to go cat 5 so hard. <laughs> Let's go in town. And okay. Not because of that, just because we've been sitting here for a minute. Yeah. Get something else to film. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You need to put your cable somewhere else, Aaron. Yeah, well, it's an easy access I point for me. I don't like that there. It falls. Why did you turn this off? I don't understand. It's not even raining. This Jeep is so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> You're ashamed. 
something happened to it. Just fine, sweetie. You're doing great. I'm, I know I keep saying it, but it's just like, God, it's such a gnarly eye wall. Even if we're a little inland, there's not much friction yeah. over the week in the hurricane. That's what I was looking at, because I saw people out here, I was like, man, should we think about going out there? But we're going to still get onshore flow with no friction, so might as well stay inland where we have a better chance at getting out, as opposed to out here where you're going to be absolutely screwed. You're staying out there. Of course. Yeah. If it was actually this far inland without the bay, then I'd be like, no, we gotta go a little closer here. Yeah. But that's like just fine. Our city is kind of decent this big, but yeah. What's that? As the Grove City is kind of a decent little big town. Where's that? South of here? Uh it's just east of that Minnesota Key. Oh yeah. No, I mean, there's population out there for sure. It's just... I don't know. Into it. Might not be the worst idea. Because we gotta go all the way up here and all the way back down and get there. Yeah. It's only 16 miles. 16 miles from Manfo? No, 16 miles. That's out there, but it says it's 40 minutes away. Oh, it's 23 miles. Is it worth w w wasting 50 miles of gas? Careful, this lights out. Yeah. I mean, it could be. There's a Walmart Super Center over by there. Is there any elevation, though? That I, that I don't know. I don't know if it would be as bad on that side of the surge. Yeah, I know, but it's good. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm just, uh, I'm just adding something. to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just adding to it. I think it might be worth taking a look. <laughs> if you're comfortable with that, I'm not going to... Oh, I'm not, I'm not uncomfortable with that, I'm just not sure that's the best move this is going to be. Cat yeah. 5, and we still have this, which is pretty, pretty good, but... We can get over there easy. I'm not like well. I'm not like hell bound like we're going. I, so if you don't if you don't feel like it's the move, then I'm not gonna not listen. Yeah, I mean I'd like to check it out. Yeah. If there's something there that's like really suitable, it'd be nice to have a little bit of a different thing than everybody else here. Yeah. And a little bit closer to the water too. And if you don't think that we're gonna make it too, I'm not afraid to bail either. Oh, we'll make it. 
had to get a still of that. I know. Sorry. Although we are probably going to lose connection. I think it sucks. I love that they're not closing the bridges. Yeah, I know. storm blocking this entire highway. Clouds ripping up there. I'm gonna get this charging. Extra battery <laughs> for phones in case everything else goes out. I just kind of looked familiar and was like, was it there? It could have been. <laughs> yeah, it looked really familiar. I mean, obviously a little more upbuilt since 04, but it looked pretty similar. You think they fixed it up? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> after that storm. <laughs> oh, shoot. All those bricks are in my suitcase on the way back. Another path. Is people just still casually driving around? Yup.
That was interesting. Or? I mean, it wasn't pumping, but I also didn't see anything on the pumps, and all the lights were on. Who? Barabbas. That's his car. Oh. Hell trace, you're right. No, they definitely work. Pump stop, damn it. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, good try. <laughs> this is still a good eye. It looks like they do have gas, but they're just... They're like, like no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Thanks, though. <laughs> Thanks for trying. shelter. It won't be nearly as mobile either later, so. You guys should not worry about it over here. You should just start doing Christmas. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> There's still a lot of people out. <laughs> yeah, I really hope it's just people evacuating and not just casually driving around. Already hit 36,000. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Really appreciate that. Uh, we are, uh, where are we? Port Charlotte? Port Charlotte. We are in Port Charlotte, Florida. We're gonna go check out another area that's a little bit of a more dangerous situation, like a little bit more dangerous of an area with the situation at hand, but it would be uh, quite the place to ride out the storm. The data may get a little less over there, so we'll have to see, but the stream will be back for sure at some point. If, uh, if it dips out a little bit or it gets a little choppy, um, at least un until the cell towers go out. So, uh, yeah, Port Charlotte heading towards, where are we heading towards? We are heading towards the Englewood area. Heading towards the Englewood area. Right now we're just getting, I mean, barely even tropical storm force winds. Occasionally we'll get a gust. Winds are kind of consistent, probably like 20, 30 miles per hour here. Occasionally gusts up to 45, but that's all going to change here. And what about this one? A Wawa? No, there's covers. It's a yellow. Do you think they had sandwiches? <laughs> Yeah, we, we were just at the Punta Gorda garage earlier. That's our last case in here. If we can't find anywhere else, we'll ride it out there. I mean, it's obviously very safe. We just kinda would rather have a more unique advantage than uh, everybody else crammed into there, but it is a very safe spot, so I understand why a lot of people are there. I mean, maybe 10% of these are boarded up. <laughs> yeah, that's probably on the high side. I 
we've got to talk about. We went two yesterday. You're right. Circle K up here. Potentially. Somebody there, but probably just chilling. Looks like a chaser. Looks like a chaser, yeah. Oh, can you even? Yeah, you can. Wow, 6,000 viewers, thank you guys so much. Holy crap. Check that is potential. Yeah. I wonder who that is. I don't know. I don't recognize the Jeep. I wonder if it's the one guy's Jeep who, uh, where the like ceiling fell in on their Jeep and Michael. No, I don't think it's that good. Oh, is that Simon? Oh, that is Simon. Hey, Simon. Simon. What's up? <laughs> Good to see you. Almost a cat five. Yeah, dude. It's freaking Jesus. crazy. You I called that one. Night, Good to see you. I was, like, I was like, man, that shear might be really fucking with it just too badly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was like, but Justin was pretty positive. He's like, nah, let's see what happens. We went to sleep and woke up and I was like, Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were uh, setting up one of the surge probes and we got like the recon down. I was like, oh, 155, 936 millibars. He's like, what? <laughs> yeah, the good. only thing that would surprise me now is if it just, the pressure kept plummeting and got sub 900. But no, it's not <laughs> yeah, yeah. If that happens, I, I'm getting to the garage where every other chaser is. <laughs> like the I, I completely clears out, perfect stadium, pressure goes sub 900. Like, oh my gosh. It's high in returns. Are you guys going to stay out here? You're going to try further west. Uh, we're going to, uh, probably going to start off near Inglewood. That's, That's where, where we're heading right now. We were yeah. just checking here to see if there's a one more quick fill up. Whatever that one island is, uh, what is it? Uh, the one that's south of Inglewood, that, that island's gonna get yeah. Oh, yeah. wiped clean. We got a probe at Fort Myers Beach. <laughs> Fort Myers. Oh, yeah. What? So, Fort Myers Beach is right here, Inglewood's right here. Where's Fort Myers Beach again? Boca Grande, Fort Myers Captiva. Beach. Is. Fort Myers Beach is right here. Okay, but you got one in Boca Grande? No, we got one. We got one just south of here, right here. We've got one right here and then we have one more left to deploy yeah are you gonna take it to boca grande we're gonna take it out here somewhere we're gonna try, yeah. I think, well of course the bay might get the largest but boca grande area yeah might gonna be gone yeah so this, this we've been so we've been using um uh we've been using uh the isle of youth as yeah. a benchmark since yesterday morning or maybe even last like two nights ago this thing's been making a beeline. Yeah, the I know. center has been making a beeline for Venice. That right eye wall is just gonna be sitting over like that <laughs> Boca Grande. Hmm. Yeah. That's one of the gnarliest eye walls I've seen on radar in a while. Yeah. I think it's pissed. This baby's very efficient. Yeah. It's become like kind of this almost annular <coughs> just perfect divergence law it literally did what michael did <laughs> with that with that drop just instead of getting perfect, shooter yeah, apart, yeah, well, gangbusters like michael ida laura delta zeta uh one of one of one of them missing a few that's just in the last five years yeah just in the last five years all those <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Exact same situation 30 year in a row of perfect, a cap four landfall just perfect timing with the truck yeah like all those. Meanwhile, you go back over the last 20 years of me chasing hurricanes, it was the opposite. The timing, right the, the timing where it was like blowing up was like way to the south. And by the time it got up here, it just getting shit, shit sheared out of it. Yeah. So like Rita got the shit sheared out of it. Katrina got the shit sheared out of it. Dennis, mm. like all those kind of had the same situation yeah. but over the goal. Yeah. Yeah, this is doing it right here. Yeah. I mean, what is it, 15, 20 nautical miles off the shore? Yeah. So, from right here. So, so number one, if it can go up the Cat 5, two, if, it, if the eye can clear out, and... <laughs> so this part of the eye wall, it's 15 nautical miles offshore, that's from that barrier island. If we get the stadium effect and the drone up, man, I'd die. So it's been going so where's Venice? Venice is right where that notch is right there. Yeah, Venice is up there. Yeah, pretty much that dot. Yep. It's kind of where the H-Mon had it going to, but I think the H-Mon's a little too far north. It, I mean, it just actually, seems like it's just gonna... Yeah. It might, uh, it might, it might... Do you think it'll 
curve back a in slight, a little bit. It might make a slight left wobble you right think? as it gets on shore. Yeah. Um, a slight left wobble and go slightly north, but I think pretty much, yeah, it's probably going to go right to Venice, and that side of the eye wall is going to be straight right. right there. That's just going to be shoving <laughs> so much surge, wall. dude. Yeah, probably the, the greatest surge will be on the inner eye wall on the right side, which will be... What's that dot? Is that where you guys have your... No, no, no. That's just what I put to check where we're at. We're, like, right up here, That's, like, Ventura, Fort Myers Beach. So that dot's not where you put the surge can? Our, no. It's close to there. It is right here. There. Okay, and this is that um, Boca something. Yeah. For that's probably yeah, right in that area is probably gonna get the hit hardest on the inner eye wall on the right side. Yeah. All right, guys. Grande. All right, well, yeah, man. See you around. Good chatting. Good, good luck. Good luck. Can't Stay wait safe, to see man. your stuff. Watch out for back window. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's a rental. Yeah. Yeah. We got a rental too. Yeah. We'll see you on the other side of the rental. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Simon Brewer. I think Justin's in the car or somewhere or something. Sometimes they drive separate vehicles. Yeah. No, he's right there. Oh, oh nice. Simon Brewer, Justin Drake, everybody. Those are the two that I watched growing up as a kid, and uh, it's cool to be friends with them now. Can I get across here? Is there a way out over there? Oh yeah, I have to go to the light over here. Oh. Look at the flag already ripping. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it's just like not even getting started. <laughs> flag will probably be gone. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty chill so far. This is what it's like when you're kind of in the uh, outer portions of the storm and then right when that eyewall hits, bam, light switch. That is a dude out on his fucking bike. Oh, good. Excuse my language, but what are you doing, dude? Oh my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> just casual. Can you just go this way? I guess so. Yeah. Got a lantern at least. A lantern and a bicycle. Oh my god. Power's already out in some places. get a little choppy up here so hang tight it'll be back I just can't stop refreshing this it's crazy too how all those storms are getting consolidated down because it looks you look at it initially it looks like it's almost like weakening but it's just getting pulled in yeah. and circulated around glad we deployed that last night. Me too. I would not be wanting to run down there right now and use half a tank of gas and be yeah. freaking out. I'm trying to beat it. Oh my gosh. This is going to be crazy. This is 
where it feels like forever on the approach. It's yeah. Just drag and drag and drag. A little flash flooding. A lot of flash flooding. Yeah. Just from fresh water. Yeah, good thing it's barely raining. Front end is completely smashed. Oh, I don't know. That is. Is it a chaser? Yeah. It's got wraps and everything. It's something hard. I don't know if that was recent or afterwards. I, would, in, I think they rear ended that car right there because their hazards are on. Nice. Look at 60 dBZ in the eye wall. Oh my god. It's not Charles, is it? No, his doesn't have a wrap on it. Oh, it had a wrap on okay. yeah, it. a big hook echo on it. I've seen that truck before. Oh, that's Steve. The one with the hook echo. No, that's not Steve. It's a Ford Expedition. Oh, okay. They do have a hook echo. That's like oh. a lot of people have a wrap. If they have a wrap, it usually has a hook echo. Yeah. Or lightning. Like, what the face is. Weather gone wild. That's actually painted on there. It's yeah. Pretty, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen 60 dBZ in the eye wall. Problem. I'd really love to get another reading from the center. For those watching right now, we're heading towards Inglewood, Florida, which is kind of in a sketchy area. We're gonna try and scope that area out real quick, see if there's suitable shelters right out of the storm. Otherwise, we'll head back towards Punta Gorda. We are gonna be shooting with our Sony A7S II and III, which are very nice tie-in cameras. We will have really crazy footage from this storm up on the YouTube channel later, so please consider subscribing. We're gonna try and hit 40,000 subscribers at the end of the stream. If you guys can reach 40,000 subscribers, like I said yesterday on the stream, I will rent a parasail in the middle of the eye wall and fly around and do circles until the calm of the eye brings me gently down to the surface. <laughs> so, if you wanna see that, which I imagine you would, I would highly recommend subscribing. Just, just, just a thought. And if you like weather, tornadoes, hurricanes, volcanoes, and that stuff. And then, after you subscribe, watch dope videos, and you're like, man, there's so many dope videos on this channel, but I want more, then you'll go over to Ohio Storm Chasers, Woo. which is my chase partner, Aaron Rigsby, who's driving right now, has been driving the last day, is doing a great job. And he's got a bunch of cool stuff on there, too. We've been, we've been uh, chasing together pretty much all year. Yeah, literally all year. But yeah, this thing is uh, this thing is a dangerous category four hurricane, almost category five. We are kind of being a little gutsy here, doing a little last minute checkup on this area to potentially ride it out. We have time, so we'll be fine. But it's you know, it's gonna be wild. It's getting it's getting to the critical point where we got to kind of figure stuff out here in the next hour. Got to make our final decisions by 9 a.m. probably. How far out are we? Nine miles out. I have it plugged into that Walmart on okay. that road. This guy's ripping. Yeah. So 
we still got a couple hours before the most intense stop, so that's why it looks kind of, you know, but it's just rain and a little bit of wind. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mobile home park over there. That's not good. Hopefully all of them left. I would sure hope so. Let's see what the uh, cams look like in Fort Myers Beach. Yeah. She's doing pretty good service, wife. Slowing down for a gas line. Oh. No, just ran wrap on them. I wonder if you just, you know. If they're still on, just cut the If you can't do it, I would. You gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you guys for the super chats. Crazy Bro Little and somebody else. Vader769. Thank you guys. That will go towards sandwiches. We put all our money earned towards sandwiches. And then if we've had too many sandwiches, we'll put some gas in the car, I guess. There's potential cover. I don't know about surge, but we could walk up. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be crazy right on the bay there. Yeah. It's definitely coming. Get up, get up here, you know, if yeah. it comes in. Ooh, that just gave me the chills. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My tummy is a nuts. Yeah. There's a probe. Good placement. Yeah. Even though there's not actually really not that much to see from right there. I think it's a, I, well, I think there's a camera, but I think they put it there for wind. There was an anemometer oh, on top. Okay. Yeah. Worst case scenario, oh, that is 100% happening if it's still open. I heard the one, which one is closed? Fort Myers? Fort Myers, yeah. Fort Myers closed. The uh, one in Port Charlotte may still be open, though. But thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate all you guys for checking out the stream. Totally understand uh, if you, I mean, we don't expect any financial donations. If you're able to just subscribe uh, or just like it, share it so people can see this stream if they live out here watch what's going on we've even checked on people's houses before that have been watching the live stream for other hurricanes so try our best to try our best to do some positive while being out here documenting these conditions wherever we can I should send the stream to my mom she's asking what's going on This is part of Englewood. 
Okay. I just don't like no elevation. Yeah. Will there be much here, though, uh, Surge? Probably with uh, the Cat 5. There's not a lot of elevation here. What is meant from the angle? I guess it depends. Yeah, it depends. Depends on how far north it goes. Yeah. Send the link to my mom so she can freak out. Yeah. Sorry, moms. Five official yet, but it's close. If they do go cap five, we'll be sure to let you know. It might not be till the next update. We're in Inglewood, Inglewood, Florida. Yes, sir. So that's where we are up there. Oh no, we're up there a little more. A little further. Still. Hmm. Jesus. No, it is not hit. It'll hit, truly hit in the next couple hours, probably two, three hours. Another $50 donation, holy cow, thank you. That is, goes directly towards funding this trip and more trips. We fund these out of our own pockets because this is what we're passionate about. We want to help document these storms from all different angles. That's why we built these surge probes. That's why we drive out here. I mean, I spent like 500 bucks on the plane ticket to get down here from Nova Scotia. <laughs> Same. Plus all the gas expenses for hotels. Hotel was 150 bucks, three days. I mean, it adds up fast, but we'll do it no problem. It is very nice though whenever somebody has a little bit of extra, a little extra funds to throw our way, but we'll be out here doing it regardless. It sounds weird, but this is, this is the sort of stuff we live for. This is the meteorological events that we fascinate over for, I mean, that's what I've been fascinating over my whole life. There are so many cars here still, dude. It's nowhere bored of that. Oh, no. There's, no there's nothing boarded up here. Oh, I guess some of them are. It's like a three out of every 50. This area has not had a hurricane, especially of this intensity, in so long. People just don't seem to remember how bad these things can be. And there just is not a lot. We, in Louisiana, they got so used to hurricanes the last few years, you'd go down there and everything would be boarded up, everybody would be gone. Not the case here. Here's the main strip. This looks like a big truck stop up here. Might have potential. Oh, that would be so nice. It's like the little mom and pop gas stations are the ones that seem to be open still. They're just like, I don't know. This town is gonna get wrecked. Yeah, this is gonna be a big problem. My mom said she's gonna watch. Hi, mom. I love you. I'm sorry I decided that this is what I'm passionate about in my life. <laughs> I know you wish it was stamp collecting or knitting or, you know, something like that, but, you know, it's not, so at least you can watch as I do Sorry, this. I'm not a skater boy. I was a skater boy. Me too. Now I'm a snowboarder boy. Nice. See you later, boy. Starting to blow a little bit. No. Oh.
long as red lights in here. Sponsored by Walmart. Gust. Great service out here. I was not expecting that. Yeah. I got better service here than I did in Port Charlotte. I know. <laughs> wow, that's trying to become really symmetrical, isn't it? Yep. Sure is. Oh. Might be an issue. Wow, they really just ran around that. They're like, absolutely not. <laughs> Mine. You said you said another one? Yeah. You think Starbucks is open? Uh, you know, I think there's a solid chance. Give me an ice caramel macchiato. Do you got an icy macchiato? Do half sweet on that. One pump of fucking, I don't know, some coffee stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's about how I am ordering. Oh, is that a Tree branch already. Uh, I think it's good. All right, well, I'm gonna go out this way because I know there's a guest on the other side of this. Salt side. Blood water. There's a lot of sheet metal buildings over here. There sure is. There's cars in the shop. I have good insurance. Man, I'd be so close to get one more pull up. Mm. So this is where we are now. Probably in Bruce City, just over here. Yeah. Arena. Actually, I know there is. I can see it. Yeah. There's one right up the road. I'm gonna keep going up that way anyway, because there's more gas stations. Skips Marina. <coughs> Talbot? Skip Talbot. Oh, yeah. Let's go there. Let's break the ball there. I don't hate it here. Let's put that ball right there, shall we? Problem. It's an issue. In need of tissue. Okay, we're gonna head to a marina in Inglewood. It's kind of south of the main Inglewood area. We have one final probe that we can deploy. These are unmanned probes that we set out in areas that are too dangerous for us to stay. We have one on Fort Myers Beach. We have one at Port Charlotte Beach. And now we're gonna put one here at this marina, I think. After we get past these incredibly slow red lights. Correct. Take your time, take your time.
any time now. Whoa! Lots of super chat donations. Holy crap. 99 bucks? That's too much. <laughs> you guys don't need to be sending that much. Thank you though. Holy cow. Uh, let's see here. How do I... How do I, how do I, how do I? Interesting. That looks very promising unless it says pumps off. Yeah, but... I'm, I'm sure it does. But... <clears throat> I hate these one ways. This is so annoying. Just us. trailer house. The car is there and no boards. No. <laughs> this area is so screwed. Yeah. It's not even funny. And there's nothing boarded up. They put tape on the windows, guys. Are you kidding me? At least this place is boarded up. Oh, this looks promising. I think we're good. This looks promising. Oh, oh hell yeah, yes. let's go. Final gas up. Wow. Oh, well, it says zero dollars on that one. The, these other ones say have stuff, though. Okay. Well, I think this will be fine. Just chill here. Try this one first. Okay. Stuck out right there. I hope it doesn't leave a wallet in my pants. <laughs> put it so I lost. Get my pants. Ah! This is good to know. Let's see if it works. Did it work?
worked? Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! It wasn't a botched trip after all. I am not a fan of this jacket. This feels like a swamp, by the way. Okay. Okay. I wish you could see through here. That was a very clutch. Clutch. The reason it came inland, by the way. Because Baxter's right there. I don't know if he's with Baxter anymore. No. Well, either way. Probably. Probably, maybe not. Probably. On Derek. Who? Derek Smith. Oh. I can't believe we got gas. I cannot believe we just got gas. <laughs> that is so sweet. Nicely done. Good find. That makes me feel so much better. Yeah, for real. I'd put that down. <laughs> just, just keep <laughs> going. So it literally just wouldn't even let me. Yeah, we're in Inglewood right now. Uh, that's funny you guys mentioned joking about uh, line of work, asking what it is, Storm Chaser. I actually work in an insurance, so I'm an appraiser. So I, I uh, yeah, that's what I do when I'm not storm chasing to make a living. Some type of precip up here that looks a little intense. A little bit. Being out of me. So I just follow this straight to the harbor. Uh, it should be at this main intersection up here. You'll turn left and it should be down just a little ways. This one here? No. Okay. Oh, the one. Yes, the light. It's a really strong wind dick here. Got a little bit of elevation. <laughs> it's got cover, too. A couple extra feet. I'd like something nearby that was a lot bigger, but, you know. The... We're also still a little... Well, no, we're not. We're pretty much on the coast. Yeah. We're still a little in... No, we're not. Where's the... Oh. oh I threw it out. I figured you wouldn't mind. There's so much traffic. <laughs> I know. This is really bad. A borderline category five hurricane and people are just out strolling around. Like, oh, look at the rain. Come on, please. I hope some of these guys are getting out last minute because they've got a little bit of time to get inland and they need to. Amber and them uh, went to their family's house in good. Naples. Good, 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 good. I was like, good. keep going south. Good thing we got here when we did, 75 is closed. Did they actually even close it? I don't know. Yeah. This is right offshore, guys. Yeah. About 
16 miles away. Knocking at our front door. <coughs> She's gonna be pushing search probe up in the right up. Your probe here. is like in a lit, like that is prime. Mm. That is gonna be crazy footage. Thousand viewers, thank you so much. We're gonna keep this stream going for as long as possible. The worst conditions of the hurricane will be here in the next hour or two. We're trying to hit 40,000 subscribers. If you, uh, oh, somebody from Mako sent me some money. Thanks, whoever that is from Mako. I sort of miss working. Oh, here it is, right here. Yeah, if we hit 40,000 subscribers, like I said, I will rent a paraglide and sail around the eye wall of the hurricane landing safely in the middle of the eye. Well, let's pull in here and see what we got. It survives. Let's try it. Let's go over there and look and see if there's a better spot. I'll see if I can get us in there. Pay attention this time. I am shocked that it was out here of all places. Although I kind of, it kind of makes sense because you know they got out of here and they're just like whatever. Have fun. The stream's gonna be a little choppy here for a sec. We're in an area with not so great service, but it'll come back. Uh, can you pull actually into there, or is it gated off? Uh, it was gated like into the boats, yeah, yeah, but yeah. there's a little part from that I can get closer. Uh, I don't know if I like this spot. I do like this spot, but I don't think there's anywhere to mount it that is surviving. Yeah. I mean, maybe on, oh, maybe on the a light pole. Poles. It's just not a good angle. Then again, those aren't exact. Those are made to fall down. Yeah. No, let's go somewhere else. Do you want to find somewhere else? gotta find somewhere that's like a, at least like six to eight feet up. There's another marina. Let's go 
about four miles away. Which direction that way? Go back up to the main intersection and then turn left. If not, we're gonna have to decide soon after that if we're staying out here. I mean, what are you? What are your thoughts? What are? I don't hate thinking? it. Um, like. Imagine this one so we can get up above that. Yeah, I know, but the problem is if it does, that's it. Yeah. I mean, we've got four feet of clearance there, plus we're probably right here. We might be maybe another five feet above storm surge, so maybe that's maybe that's enough. Yeah. One thing telling me the elevation is one foot, and one thing telling me it is ten feet. Hmm. Good thing, you know, there's a, not a big spread or anything. I just like if there was a second story of something we could go up to nearby, you know? Yeah. Just in case. Is there a hotel over here anywhere? I mean, there was that one that was further in than that way. Yeah. That looked pretty sturdy. Yeah, I, I guess I... If we're getting more western, it's not going to be too bad. There's a lot of chasers out here, so. Do you want me to still go out to that marina? Or do you want me to go right to that hotel? No, let's go out to the marina. Okay. We'll also just check and see what's down here, because actual Inglewood is up a little ways up here. Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. Cool. This, this whole area actually felt elevated, which is nice. I just didn't want you to think I was like taking charge and I wanted to get a No, I just want to have a discussion about it. Yeah, definitely. It's good to have a second opinion. When you're by yourself, it's easy to second guess it. Yeah. It's like nice to have a voice of reason. I mean, I, I would love to ride it, it out out here. Yeah. I just want to make sure we have like an option. option. Yeah. Here's a hotel. Oh, it's open. Oh, we can. I mean, even if it's not, we can get up there. That's not even a hotel. That's like a strip mall. Elevated strip mall. Oh, we could definitely get in there. Yeah, I mean, let's see right here how far up above the water we are. That's pretty sizable. On the bridge, this is probably eight feet up above it, plus it's got a few feet. Yeah, I like this area. Yeah. <laughs> That's big. I don't think we start below sea level here either. Yeah, we, we are. It's like Louisiana. It's between one to ten it. feet above. Yeah. One thing's for certain: we're not going to get eight to twelve here, or twelve to sixteen. No. Here, that's for sure. And then I just follow this up and make it the wood. Yeah. So it is. Okay, the center press. Gonna be up here on the left. And that road was very clear to get out here. I was happy about that. Yeah. A bunch of trees on the side. Pretty big space. Okay. Can we come on up? Probably here. I see a 
water. Okay. <laughs> Bad. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Okay. Right. You think? No. Let's see what else we got. See if there's any, I mean, it doesn't have to be a marina. It could also be just some it's, area. There's a lot of stuff flying around. Yeah. yeah. This is the highest definition one. It's definitely starting to kink a little northeast at us. Yep. Head back to the north. Oh, that's oh. not downtown. Downtown's up north. Correct. Right. I was thinking of that strip back Yeah, there, that's where we want to ride it out, probably. Yeah. yeah. Getting a little tropical stormy up here. <coughs> oh my goodness. It's getting this perfect concentric white band around it. Woo. I don't know if it just starts doing pink towers around that. I'd be like, hmm. What we could do is we could just save it and then as stuff starts coming apart if we see something where it's like oh I'd love to shoot that but we should keep moving and then we can just deploy it there super quick and let it film it and yeah or we since people have parked their cars here. Where is Steven and them riding it out? I think they're staying over in uh, Port Charlotte. That would be cool for the surge. Yeah. It's a hard decision. That would be a very limited time. <laughs> Just like the idea of having something different. Surge is also what we've been like talking about the whole time. But it's also not like the peak surge, so the big story is going to be your probe. It might be peak surge. Not maybe not peak, but. Yeah. I knew you. Yeah. I like it out here too. I'm not worried about staying out here anymore. Yeah. But. 
It's just the what the decision of what we want to get best. Maybe park somewhere where we can yeah. point the stream at least while we collect our stuff. Bar earlier? Uh, I think it got down to 938. Well, it's 933. Hmm. Perfect. What the hell? What? Is that something else? Oh, that's that must be. That's that's. Followers. It's like. Where's that? Crazy. City too. Not a lot. We want to go to that uh, concrete structure and check it out, that uh, plaza. Yeah, cool. let's do that. That'll shield us from a lot of debris too.
starting to get continuous tropical storm force conditions out here. Stairwell, this is the last case scenario <laughs> needed. Uh, just, I'm just gonna walk up one of the stairwells and just investigate. We turn it this way just mm -hmm. a tiny bit. Yeah. So I can play the stream and I might come with you. Towel ready for you though. Thank you. Oh great, Aaron left the key fob. Now we're gonna have to hear the beep. But yeah, seriously guys, thank you so much for watching. We have over 20,000 viewers last I checked. We we're gonna be riding the storm out, most likely in Inglewood, Florida. There's a slight chance we might head back to Punta Gorda, but I think we're, we're honing in on Inglewood right now. Sorry, the stream is a little choppy. We'll get better here in a minute when we get back to that main area we were staying at. But thank you all for all the new subscribers today, which is just insane. We're trying to hit 40,000 today. It looks like that's gonna happen, no problem. If we hit 50,000, I'm going to run outside in the middle of the hurricane and jump in the ocean. Or I'll do the parasail thing like I was talking about. I'll parasail around the eye. <laughs> but seriously guys, thank you so much for all the new subscribers. All we do here is uh, chase storms. So if you like hurricanes, tornadoes, we've been intercepted a volcano last month. That's, that's what we do. So lots of content. Anyways, back to the hurricane. Let's see. It's not too bad yet getting tropical storm force winds, gusts up to 45, but the main part of this storm is right off the coast. Yeah, sorry, I'll try and turn the light down a little bit. I know they're annoying. on the southern eye wall. Lots of lightning. Oh, here comes Aaron. I see another place across the street. Oh, How's this? This is actually uh, really good. There's like a lot of glass here. But there's uh, there, in the stairwell, there's a bunch of corner shelter to be like, oh shit. Is there a stairwell right there? 
uh, it's like comes around the corner and then there's another one like they're on like the corner gotcha and then you can look out on the other side too this is a great spot if we if it comes to it yeah and then there's another spot across the street that looks like it has potential as well I think this place will be fine it's a lot of concrete this thing is not making much eastward progress, so I think we actually do need to stay out here to yeah. get in the eye wall at this point. Yeah. I'm not too confident it's, the eye is going to go over Port Charlotte. This place had, like, I saw stairwells and ramps and stuff. I think that's a plenty good spot if yeah. we need it. Very viable. <coughs> There's Michael Koch. Maybe we want to just head back over towards that bank, that kind of strip down there and yeah. hang out. Uh, I'm going to pull in this parking lot just real quick because I think that's the other access point. I'm just keeping everything. Okay. I only say it because you can't see a whole lot to film unless we go up higher there. And I saw this was like more open, so I just wanted to look at it real quick. Is this a fire station? No, there's no way. All right, back. I'm just gonna take a quick peek. Aaron keeps taking the damn key. crap over 40,000 subscribers thank you so much guys I'm gonna have to stop talking a whole lot to the stream I'm not gonna be monitoring much anymore it's about to be go time Ugh. it's a little more exposed but still I think it'll be fine structure wise so if we get in the pickle I'm going to set the thing in the back just let it roll I mean, I, look at that. <laughs> Are you it's trying to me? clear out bad? There's a slight chance we might get stadium effect if it keeps doing that. I'm not sure if we'll have enough time, but well, I'm just saying slight. Cross my fingers. Potential's there. It didn't take Harvey long to do it. It did it coming on shore. Granted, it's moving slower, but did it right on approach. I'm just happy we got gas. <laughs> Same, bro. That was the highlight of my day so yeah. far. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is good. This is trying to go cat five so hard, dude. Oh, it's trying to clear no. out. Oh, no. God. Wow. Imagine if we get in the eye of a cat five. Satellite is looking. Holy crap, that is looking scary. It's trying to clear out, which means it's deepening rapidly if it's able to clear out. This is going to be the most prolific storm this area has probably ever, ever seen, seen in our lifetime. If Chilling not ever. Here. Glad you said that because I was wondering why. Yeah, let's just find a good advantage and hang out. This is good, there's a lot of stuff to film in here, kind of. Should I just park in here somewhere? Some trees. This is also, the, I mean, yeah. it's not much shelter. This, this whole area has kind of got elevation. Yeah. Like they did Dixie. that for a reason. Like I guess if we start losing glass, then we'll get to cover. Yeah, this is fun right here. Yeah. Maybe point towards that and just point the stream at that, and then we can just do whatever. Yep. I'm going to set the laptop in the back. Yeah, because there will be times we're probably like over each other oh, yeah. filming. It's. 
it's time to hone in. All right. Is there stuff you need out of your backpack? Um, there's just SD card readers and stuff, so no. So not in the near future. No. So I'm gonna put that somewhere in the back. out of the way, but kind of accessible. Well, I'm just gonna put it in the back. Yeah, yeah, I no, reach that over. Just, yeah. I'm gonna have you hold this for a sec. Thinking out loud. Be careful of this cable and. Tripods right here. Maybe not sure we have such food in the back. I might just stuck here for a bit. Sand everywhere. I don't know. Put your AX100, I'm gonna move to right there. This is extra pro. I know. <laughs> I know it. I need mean, this up front. Watching the stream, I'm no longer paying attention to the stream. I'll try and check in just to make sure there's cell service or connection every once in a while, but y'all are on your own. You are now joining us along in our actual chase. This is what it's like. It's about to get crazy here in the next little bit. Borderline category five hurricane. It's making a run for it, no doubt. No doubt about it.
sent my dad our location. I uh, said, give me 48, he, he was just asking, he's like, how long before? I'm not sure where he was. I was like, give me 48 hours. If you haven't heard from me, then start to work. Good call. Okay. Get this to unravel what's going on there. Hood. station? Uh, potentially. Jesus. That's just trying to become a monster. <clears throat> Super typhoon type stuff. Gust, getting gusty. <laughs> the water's getting sucked out of the tank. Okay. Wow. to Bonita Beach, 12 to 18 feet of storm surge. That's concerning! <laughs> I don't see how we get 18 feet of storm surge. I don't either, but... I'm just, I'm just happy we have that over there. Yeah. If it starts coming in, just jet over there and yeah. we... Run up. Drop as much as we can and run up. I was just gonna throw my laptop in the uh, the bag in case I should grab the bag and go. I think we'll know if that's how it's coming. <laughs> oh gosh.
updated at 8 o'clock. My career would be fine. The search probe, however, is going to have the right of its life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen an inundation wow. so far in Oh, no. We have to, I know we'll be stuck here. We have to try and get over there ASAP I know. for drone. We need a claw machine on the drone to just pick it up. <laughs> Scissors, snip the line, <laughs> snip the ratchet strap and pick it up. <laughs> bye bye. Carry on my wayward son. <laughs> You're here to friends. If I can get one of these webcams to work. <coughs> you apparently have 18,000 viewers now, because Brian Josh just sent you that. We have 23,000 at one point. So 18,000 isn't anything. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. That's crazy. I've never had that many consecutive viewers ever. No. Even during Sally, it was like 7,000 maybe. Crazy. For all the viewers out there, thank you so much for riding along with us. Debating if I want to go live on Facebook. Do it. Now's the time. Unless you want to be using your phone. I can always cancel it. Yeah. Well, there's a good guest. The worst, most intense part of the hurricane, let me get an update here, is. Come on. most intense part is still like 30 miles away. The outer portions of the most intense part, about 20 miles or less. But we actually still have some time. The eye wall is constricting too, so that also makes the storm stronger, but it takes a little while longer for us to get here. <coughs> For Max's viewers, you're gonna hear me repeat a little bit because I just went live on my Facebook page, so I apologize for that. Um, but for my viewers on my Facebook page. Is it vertical? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's shooting vertical. Why would it be doing that? Did you, did you start it like this or did you start it like this and turn it like that? I started it like this. Oh, let me go check just yeah. for your sake. It's Ohio Storm Chasers? Yeah. Oh, okay. What? Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, sorry, we're getting some technical difficulties figured out here. Okay. Is it like that? Try starting it again. Okay, I'm gonna redo this, guys. I'll be back. Try starting it again. I'm gonna. <laughs> Does it have to be like this? Yeah. Well, everything should flip. I mean, I don't know. I don't do a lot of Facebook live stuff. That's my last drink. Is it not? Try, try doing it the other way. That's the way I had it before, was it, and then it didn't flip. I know, but it's like... Usually, like on YouTube, if you do that, everything would flip. Like, yeah, you I know. go live and everything would That's flip. That's what it's supposed to is be. There a, is there a setting on your phone that stops it from rotating like on iPhone it's like this oh well, maybe it has a lock rotation there you go all right that's it all right now we got it buckaroo all right <coughs> 
is eerily calm. I'm gonna keep shutting this nice have a probably. Alright everybody that's coming into my live stream, welcome in. Uh, we are currently live in Englewood, Florida, waiting the approach of the eye wall of Hurricane Ian, which is now teetering on Category 5 status. Uh, we're probably going to start seeing the worst winds here in probably the next hour or so, uh, if not maybe just a touch longer. Beside us we have a, a bank that's a little bit higher ground, and at worst case scenario we got uh, like a conc big concrete multi-story structure uh, just down the road from us that we're gonna there we go. retreat to. Uh, we, I won't be able to respond to a lot of comments because we're gonna be focused on this, but um, I'll get to them eventually. Ooh. Oh my god. Mm. Holy cow. Oh no. <laughs> Oh Stadium my goodness. Effect. Oh what? Your stays live when you do that stuff? Yeah. That's so nice. YouTube it's like <coughs> You wanna do something else? Maybe it's an Android thing, maybe. Yeah, I have all the cool people on Android. And sorry if it kind of focuses in and out. I'm using my phone for this, so I mean it's just something you're just, just gonna have to deal with. It'll be fine. I'm not gonna stream throughout the whole thing, so I can focus on the regular video, but you can kind of see what's deserted around us and kind of see our game plan. Why does it say I have great connection and then I don't? We haven't moved. <laughs> Tower's already done. You can see nothing too insane yet. Man, when Dixie really bunkered down. See how the freaking metal. You want to see if there's any other good shots? No. We're not sitting here for a minute. Pop around and show the viewers our hiding spot. First one, if you want. Are you done with your monster? Oh, yeah. To move it so your dumb cameras can fall into there. This Wells Fargo is where we're gonna retreat to higher ground if we uh, run the surge issues. Well, this is the first one. First we can, one. <laughs> we have a we have a higher higher place, but that's only in, in an emergency. Yeah, this is kind of our go-to when shit really hits the fan. This will get us a solid four or five feet above everywhere else around here, which is hopefully... Hopefully enough. <laughs> well, yeah, I think right here we're multiple feet above sea level, so... Yeah, we're not starting at sea level. This gives us something, and then down the way there, a quarter park. mile, we've got... Um, park here for a second, just so Really we nice spot. And it's brick, so we'll see, <laughs> see how well it goes. Or at least it looks like brick. It could be that fake brick stuff. What? That's brick. But brick isn't always the best, <laughs> unless I'm spring forest. And when does that ever happen? Look at how fast the clouds are moving up. Yeah. You can almost see it better on the camera. I will die if I get the drone up in the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> I will cry real tears. Uh, winds right now are probably like. I don't know, gusting to 40. It's nothing yeah. too crazy. But that's the thing about hurricanes. Flash flooding here. signs are just gonna go flying down the street. 
I know. <laughs> I like that the wind is not directly yeah. going in, like it's going away from us, it's kind of flying this way. I don't know why the stream keeps going from poor to excellent, it's like we have full service. Okay. at Walmart said these things are quick dry. That's a lie. Demand refund. <laughs> we go. I like the uh, evacuation route sign right yeah. there. That's gonna go by that. That's funny. Evacuation route. I hope you follow it. I don't know if you'll have this experience, but I have had it where you'll have like a full battery and it'll just start draining when yep. it gets really moist. Yep, I've had that. Especially on the knockoff batteries. Yeah, awesome. Just over there. I'll get the camera out and then just, you know, calm. Oh my god. I'm gonna open it. Uh, it's got that four pinwheel effect. It's gonna be close. We might get breaks in the clouds at least. Yeah. It's 
kind of how Michael was, unless you were at Tyndall, but over at Conway, they had those brakes where you could see, see it. <laughs> A little bit of clear. All right, there's some clear. Yep. So many people still driving. Dude, if I was outside of Tallahassee right now, I'd be wrecked. Yep. I'm not sure. I guess I could intercept it to England. <clears throat> Nobody four stop hours away. <laughs> Did he like make it sound like he's still gonna make it? <laughs> yeah, he's still coming. Okay, that's crazy. It's crazy, man. I mean, he'll make it for when it's inland. A lot of chasers in Englewood. Yeah. Makes me feel better at least. Yeah, so if something happens, we got options. We got options, we got help. Help. Like we're right on the fringe. We'll be good. It's crazy. It's trying to clear out, isn't it? Yeah, there's definitely breaks in the clouds there. You can see a couple now there. You can see the cumulus inside. Mm. It's spinning.
my goodness, in the last inbound pass that threw the southwest eye while plane was jolted in what was a 700 foot immediate change in altitude, then circled in the eye, probably to catch their breath, behaving exactly like Michael Landfall Mission 2018. <laughs> Goodness. Hmm. Pretty good, okay, right? I'm just not confident that the eye is going to go over Port Charlotte. Yeah, I don't know. If it doesn't, that'll be more surge. Where are we at on that note? Yeah. Here? Yeah. It's getting darker. No. These clouds. It's ripping. All feeding in. I guess at worst case we're gonna be on north. I need to. I don't think we're gonna need to. It's forecast to make that turn right as it approaches shore. But if not, <laughs> I want little bites. Back. Snack time. What do you think? Uh, I'm okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wondering if there's some kind of shelter up here. It's like a bunch of dots are clustered. Gonna go check it out. Or are you okay with ours? I'm okay with ours. I think I think they're in South Venice is where they are. But that might be too far north. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Agree with what? Uh, if Venice is too far north. Yeah, for now it is. Yeah. Jack is gonna really ride it out there, huh? <sighs> is he like there? <laughs> oh, maybe he's on his boat. <laughs> and Gabe looked like he was at the southern tip of an island. Oh yeah, I think he's like, oh. I don't know. Is that one? I think he is out there. Cause there's that key, and he's like over here. <laughs> I think I am gonna do that.
what about these lines will sedate up? <laughs> they um, look, they look, yeah. 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 Recently installed. Can you imagine me and the hurricane on our plane just dropping 700 feet? No, I couldn't actually. That <laughs> actually sounds like you'd be like terrible. Like zero <laughs> gravity. <laughs> Of course, if it is a cat five, they won't say it until later, twelve months from now. Yeah. Has to be clear cut evidence to do that. Like Jordan bailed in Linda Port Charlotte. Yeah. How, like I thought this was banned. I don't see another Surge is already coming in Fort Myers Beach. Oh yeah. I'm trying to get one of those cams to pull up, but they just weren't loading.
wide open spaces. I'm gonna make a big mistake. Big hurricane. Big tornado. Problem. I wonder what high tide is. Uh, they're in low tide right now. Oh no. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, so we have a probe at Port Port Myers Beach. Port Myers Beach, sorry. And right now they're at low tide and the water is already pushing all the way up past the beach on the edge of the buildings. So as the tide rises and the hurricane pushes closer, it is going to completely inundate Fort Myers Beach. No doubt about it. It'll be under feet of water. They're not even getting full on onshore flow right now. They're getting kind of almost parallel. That's spooky. stall anymore it looks like budge On the Civic can survive. Oh, this will. Confirmation, so think we're good? Yeah. Cool. I 
going to be just sitting and chilling. Can we give someone a little bit better data? Yeah. I don't know where, but, you know, just, I mean, just literally a few feet was making a difference early. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's going to bring a hard game. <laughs> the other end of that parking lot or something. Yes, good. Um, I'm gonna park away from that over here. Okay. That's okay. But he's dead. <laughs> I would be. I don't even know if I could do that anymore. To be honest, I could do it. I would not be a happy camper right now. I would not be enjoying this life, <laughs> especially if I was getting wet and stuff. So we can angle and film this a little bit better without the rain. Sure. Not blowing right into us. Make some more dramatic. Yeah. For the stream area. So everybody is telling us it's the worst stream ever now. <laughs> well, because of you and your bathroom break earlier, Be we're now late for the hurricane. Oh, you make it so you can film. Oh, I see what that was. <laughs> is that, we're not afraid to get close, you can just put it out some. Yeah, but no, I'll I can really it right in your face. No, it's okay. Oh, no, it's okay. No, no, it's okay. No, okay. It's okay. No, I just thought it'd be nice. You know, that's why I'm not nervous. Oh, it is if nice. Just, it if, is nice. If you're just going to throw you. a fit, you might as well just, you know, commit to it. No, you're don't, right. Don't it is, side it is, with me. It is nice for you. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, this, this marriage is just not working. It's an old married couple. Band. Oh. It would be really sad filming that Taco Bell get torn apart. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be okay from surge here. Yeah, Maybe on like the back side, but... Yeah, not too bad. How clear that eye has gotten on the way down. It's trying to fill in all the way around. Yeah. Oh, 
always get excited right now because stuff's happening and I start filming and then I never end up using it. Yep. I use like two shots of it like starting to get to tropical. Yeah. Starting to get to tropical storm force conditions. I'll use that once in the in the video and yep. all the rest will be for an hour from now. I did that in Ida where I was filming so much that I had to like clear my SD card as the eye wall was like actually hitting me. I was like, God. Because you're like, oh gust, oh gust. It's like you want to film something. Power flash of some sort. at 9 a.m. it was still moving at 10 miles an hour. Hmm. Oh no. High tide is gonna be right when it's getting southwesterlies. Oh, that's good. That'll be right as the eyes move to shore. And I mean, if you think about it, that eyes move to shore and the eyes up here and down here is just going to be getting this quadrant and it's just going to be pushing water in at high tide. Hmm. That's an issue. That is an issue. <laughs> you know what else is an issue? <laughs> this is the new surf map. Oh, down south. Hmm. That's good. Pro might get it. Oh, it's gonna get it. <laughs> oh, you mean the Port the Charlotte one? The second one, yeah, the Port Charlotte one. No, I know your other one's gonna get it. <laughs> a little more northeast. Yeah. But the question is, is it gonna go, do we think it's gonna go too far south of us now where we like only get grazed by the western eye wall? I don't know. I mean, Something it's just wrong. a little wobble. I'm just, the overall trend of it though. I've got it right here, buddy. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's right there is the only time it really does that in the last hour. It's a little wobble. I guess I just worry if that's the, the curve that was forecasted. We it need to could get be, east. but I would say that that's not the trend yet. Yeah. If it is that way still in the next 30, 40 minutes, we can look at our options. Do we have time to get over there, though, if we wait 30 or 40 minutes? Probably. Okay. I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't. And we can obviously kind of assess that, but I think one little jog to the northeast is not reason to completely abandon our plan yet. Okay. But I see what you're saying. Yeah.
beautiful community. It just looks Jesus. weird. There's just so many homes there. That's crazy. So much damage. And like none of them are proper for <laughs> really gonna, if it's gonna go in like that, I don't even know where it's gonna go. Probably to go back to Port Charlotte. No, I mean, if it's, if it's actually going northeast, I mean, that would be, I guess maybe. It would. It's going like this, but that would be pretty much almost the same as us. Just maybe a little more in it. In the eye, yeah. Oh, you're wanting to get in the eye. Well, I just, my only, f my fear is just, I don't want to like, I, I do want to get into the eye, but I just don't want it to like, slowly graze past yeah. us and then we're in the western eye wall the entire time. I don't like I would like to get into the eye if it's possible. I mean we could always like jog here and uh, evaluate. There was a bunch of stuff over here. We're just in that little moat so it's like investigate. Hard call. Yeah. I hate to bail from here if it's just a little wobble, but I also would like to get in position if it is making that hard turn already. Yeah. supposed to go right up through here. they will show us that. Just kind of how it's pushing the east. Uh, I know. I mean, yeah. I'm not denying that there's a wobble, but I'm just not sure if that's the full motion or not, or if the mean motion is still like that. But it, it went like that a little bit, so maybe it'll come in more like that, or if it is really doing the whole curve. Because the models still show it tracking more northeast than like full tilt like that. Yeah. But we can go sit like halfway if you want. I just don't want to get stuck in the middle either, trying to commit to a spot. No, I mean, it's, it's only a 30 minute 
One compact system, that's for sure. Yeah. Crazy how much the outflow is just flying up that channel. That's a storm. That is a storm. It's twisting. <laughs> Some might even say spinning. Head east. Yeah. Okay. I like I said, I wasn't trying to be like jumpy. It was just like, oh boy, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. Before it's too late. All right, guys, we're repositioning from Inglewood back east towards Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, maybe even a bit further south of there. Yeah. I mean, if we're on 75, we're fine. Oh, yeah. Especially that's what we did during Ida, was we just found a town right then, get the surge comes in, we'll just drive up the other end. Yep. Especially if it goes full blown stadium effect, like, if I can get the eye, I'd like to. I don't think it's gonna, but I bet we'll have brakes. But, well, then that's, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll take that. Just little brakes in the clouds. You can fly your drone all the way up through and then over top and then <laughs> like look <foggy>. down. <laughs> yeah, I'll set it to 2,000 feet. Two hundred does. <laughs> Why is there a jumbo jet going by in your shot? That no. The, you know, toy airplane. Yeah. It's a good shot. What is this line of cars up here? I don't know. What are we doing? I've never seen this much traffic. Probably oh. uh. Maybe on a cat. One or two. Yeah, maybe even a three, so depending on the location. Even 
if I get like a 10 second view of the stadium effect. Oh. It's kind of how it was for Harvey. It was like we had about a three minute window. But it was a cool window. It was. Um, you're gonna have to tell your viewers that I'm sorry because I'm not stopping. Please. I'll slow down. Yeah, I'll slow down. But treat it like a four way. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait that out. There's nobody around, so I'm just treating these as a four way stop. So just letting you guys know. Not being reckless, but being realistic. Well, the only sucky part about going back east is we have to wait. I want to get a shot like Mike Tyson so bad. There's some gas station. There's one that you can 
Charlie. Go to Publix. Oh, it's <laughs> open. Oh, good. Lights are on. We'll leave the light on for you. Thank you. Have a good time. towards the mainland. We were out on uh, Inglewood. That might be fair. We're coming right up on this yeah. inlet. Even though it's almost low tide here. Uh, we're heading back towards Murdoch and then we'll probably sit there to decide if we want to go back out towards Inglewood or go south to Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda or somewhere in that vicinity. Doing all these little wobbles right now, which makes it a little tricky. Oh, that's a bunch. What? The, the reverse surge? Oh. That's how much left. Wow. <laughs> said it's just coming into low tide. Might be getting sucked out a little bit. No, I think it's getting sucked out, yeah. There's not really... That's a real, low real low tide, but... That's spooky. Yeah, it definitely looks like it is getting pushed a little bit. Yeah. That's a little spooky. Get south of uh, Port Charlotte? Not yet. Okay. Possibly. 
I'm gonna still keep heading that way then, just so we have that option yeah. quickly. I just wanted to make sure we weren't jumping the gun too much. Cool. At least not for this game. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, it's taking a, uh, I think it's a, we, it's a very clear northeast trend right now, so we're racing back east and potentially south of Port Charlotte. There's a surge.
number of chasers here. Here's the guys who got the accident. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what the heck well, they did. Small but... <laughs> I have definitely seen this car. Yeah, I think I have it is. Oh, I know who that is. That's John Humphreys. Oh, really? Yeah, that's definitely John. Oops. Yeah. Come on. He got it? Like, no, go away. Freaking jars. <laughs> Something we could be good at. <laughs> for real. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can really see it on that. And also kind of like this. This part is expanding, but if I contract again, yeah. Sorry, I have not been paying much attention to the stream. We've been kind of making a lot of critical decisions and that will continue. But for those watching right now, we are, well, how is this, 74? 70, 75? Or 41. 41? Yeah, oh, okay. Oh yeah, that, that doesn't, 75 is the interstate. We're on Highway 41 here, heading back towards our original location that we were at this morning. We are, uh, we're a little concerned that this is making a bit more of a northeastern jog, so we're just kind of trying to get back over here. In fact, I'd say we'd probably get it somewhere in this area if we yeah. Yeah. want to just chill just to make sure we yeah. don't go too far in one direction. But um, the storm is just offshore. We are just going to chill here for a little bit and see where exactly it goes, making sure that uh, we don't jump the gun on anything. But this seems like it's 
This area seems like it'll be pretty much dead set on getting impacts from the eye wall. Inglewood will probably get part of the eye wall. We're just not sure if it'll get all the way into the innermost part of the core. So that's why we kind of retreated a little bit, but major impacts still across this whole entire area. The worst surge is gonna be a little bit south of here, especially in Fort Myers Beach down to Naples. They're gonna have 10, 12 feet of surge, potentially even higher than that. Um, some estimates up to 16 feet of surge, just absolutely insane to think about. We have a probe on Fort Myers Beach, which is already uh, getting storm surge and they're just coming out of low tide and the water is already up to the buildings. Waves are crashing into people's backyards. Looking at satellite right now, the eye is starting to clear out a little bit, which is crazy. I don't know if we have a plane in there or not. I think our latest, our last pressure was 938? 30, 933. 933. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if we start dropping into the 920s with a deepening tropical system, obviously, you know, we had Hurricane Fiona, which I chased last week. That had pressure in the 930s, but that was a storm that was that was on its way out. This is a storm that's strengthening right now, and when you have a pressure in the 930s, 920s, in a storm like this, that's what Category 5s are doing. So um, if it continues to drop into the 20s, that's a, that's a big problem. So we're going to just chill here for a minute, wait for a few more updates. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing because we're going to shoot a bunch of video on our actual main uh, high high grade 4K cameras that's going to eventually be put into a documentary that'll be released on here, as well as probably a short clip that'll be the highlights of the day that'll be posted at the end of the day today, early tomorrow morning. So to see that, plus a bunch of other tornadoes, we chase hurricanes, tornadoes, volcanoes, floods, blizzards, everything. So subscribe if you like that. I'm gonna shut up now. We're gonna go back to doing our thing. And um, if you have anybody in the area, definitely share this live stream with them so that they can watch what's going on we're going to be streaming as long as we can the cell towers in a category four borderline category five are bound to go down at some point so we'll just we'll just do our best to do what we can while we have it so okay, let's do one. it's okay let's do one. you want to steal one of my little things just a little bit but those are mine but the, the, the kitty <laughs> he wants to steal my little bites <laughs> Why? Those are mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Aaron, you can have some little bites. Thanks. Enjoy your muffins, sir. A puffin, huh? Your puffin muffins. I'm gonna have some Gardettos. I already I had my puffin. I'm glad that 17,000 people just watched that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Aaron and I are sometimes like an old married couple. In <laughs> fact, when you spend enough time in a car chasing with somebody, it just kind of becomes that way. Oh yeah. You sometimes get on each other's nerves. You try to make each other laugh and have stupid, silly conversations. You get irritated at each other for the littlest things. You punch them, hit them with their camera. Yeah. Aaron does that to me a lot. <laughs> Zoom in here so you guys have some reference. Nothing, nothing crazy going on right now. Just outer band stuff. Occasional tropical storm force wind gusts. Won't be until we get in that inner eye or that outer eye wall that uh, things will start really going down here and you'll start seeing things flying across the road and power line snapping, roof <laughs> flying, all the crazy crap that happens in these dumb things that we decide to go chase. But here we are. What's everybody's favorite road food, road trip food, snack? Mine, probably Gardetto's. All the different varieties of Gardettos. Or beef jerky from Bucky's. Karen, what's your favorite road trip food? Beef jerky when it's not thirty dollars. Yeah, but if it's thirty dollars from Bucky's and it's really, 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 True. really, really good, yeah. and you get a full pound of it that lasts you for a day if you're me, a week if you're a normal person. I like that, and I like uh, I like hot Cheetos. Uh, hot Cheetos are good. Sometimes on road trips, we've gotten those like volatilely hot Doritos, and we start we'll we'll only eat one when we start to get tired, and then it wakes us back up because our mouth is burning. Yeah. And we start to get tired again, and we eat another one. Beef jerky is good also for when you're tired. Anything that requires you to chew a lot, mm -hmm. something like. Uh, Something like, what else do I use? 
Oh, you know what's really good are like um, sunflower seeds and like pistachios that you have to really concentrate on to eat. Yeah. Those are good. Those are good road trip foods, if, especially if you're getting tired. <coughs> oh, people didn't like our conversation. People started tuning out. Oh, okay. Fine. I didn't like it either. Fine. I was just trying to interact. It looks because you're little bites. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, guys, come on. Oh, yeah, you're right. Show something happening. I'm purposely not looking at radar for like 10 minutes so I can have a new fresh set of eyes. Simon's out on uh, Boco Grande. I'm Baller. Still of that. Yeah, the still. on the northern eye wall probably it would get in the northern fringe of the eye probably 
Because, yeah, the clear part is, like, here. Yeah. Well, it'll, it's going to rotate around and stuff. And also, sometimes when it gets on land, it just fills up with clouds. That's why we'll be close to it as possible. I'm not worried about that, but it would be cool to see. I just want to get in that inner eye wall and dance around. <clears throat> is, and for those watching, is the there's is the coolest thing ever standing in the eye of a hurricane. It is pretty incredible. I remember my first time like it was in 2017. <laughs> that, was, that was a hell of a first hurricane for all of us. <laughs> It's so weird when you do the like the back and forth, like in Coda's even be northeast, but mm -hmm. you watch the loop and it's like, is it? We're like here now, right? Yeah. See and then the last week ramp it looks like it. Because the eye it's the eye yeah. contracts a little bit and it Looks like it's wobbles back this way. No. Might reach back and see if I can grab a Gatorade. Actually, is there a gas station around here we can go in real quick? Uh, yeah, no, I'm sure there is. Yeah. Yeah, there's one right there. I want a Gatorade. <coughs> Haterade. This monster's making me jittery. I'm freaking out, man. I went to the before I left the hotel. It'll be a long time before I can do my business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maintenance. I don't want to get wet if I don't have to, sir. Yeah? yeah. I'll make you wet. It's almost like hurricanes make you get wet. But I don't want to get wet if I don't Why are you saying that? Saying what? What way? Do you want one? Yes, please. Blue or white? Uh, blue. Simon's got a reading of 990 already. Wow. God bless. Charlie? Ian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a thing. Recent drop zone into the western eye wall semicircle of Ian's eye wall has generally confirmed these 166 knot winds measured by the TDR earlier this morning. Okay. I understand. It's whipping. Whole 40 miles per hour. <laughs> Okay. 
pretty interesting gradient there. Yeah. Oh, look at all the uh, lightning just went up on that northeast eye wall. Look at all the mesovortices. Those little kinks. Those are all mesovortices. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's pissed now. <laughs> Why is there not something very easily accessible right here? Yeah. I mean... We could go to our one bridge in Charlotte Park. <laughs> Not saying it'd be the smartest idea, but we could. <laughs> oh my good. Should we go over to Punta Gorda and just scope around that area? Or should we stay over here? Uh, give me one second here. scans into the northward job, but it, I think it's just the eye wall looking weird. The general okay. Maybe draw a line across it like I did earlier. Kind of see where it's drifting. I'm gonna do what I see. think it's going more right no I, I think I just I'm saying I'm just thinking out loud like I think Ellingwood's too w far west yeah. and then I'm like is it gonna cross you like it's gonna be freaking close I really think it's gonna go over Port Charlotte yeah Punta Gorda might Punta be the Gorda. best a little further south let's do it then we can always jump back across the bridge but if we do go to uh, Punta Gorda, we're going to have to stay within reasonable distance of that garage. <clears throat> not saying we have to go in there, but... God, it looks like Englewood could get it, too. Whatever. Let's just do, let's just do Punta Gorda. Well, hang on. Like, we got time to think about it. we got another boat coming. Maybe, like... This? Like, yeah, I think it's gonna go like right like that. That's what I'm thinking. Oops. The fact that there's no law enforcement out here is crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> Tough call. I mean, either way we're gonna get great stuff. I, I will say there will be the more search potential in Putin Tavorda, which is one of the things we talked about. Yeah. And I would say much higher potential of your eye intercept. Yeah. I'm gonna take this up one too. I really care about wind and surge. You say you don't care about the eye? No, I said I guess I do kind of. Oh, okay. I, I guess I don't. It's not like a must. Yeah. It's not like something I'm like, we really should try for that. But if we do make it happen, then I'm gonna be stoked, obviously. The only reason I, I, I was, I'm like more about it now is just because of the possibility of that. Yeah, that's but fair. But then I don't want to ruin our plans for a possibility, you know? That's fair. I think, yeah, I think it's probably one of the best possibilities of a semi-clear eye we've had in quite a long time. So yeah. that's, that's fair. <clears throat> if it wasn't for that, if it was still cloudy like this morning, I'd be like, no, it's like whatever. <laughs> it's <laughs> 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 I made a 
funny. <laughs> Free in the road. Debris. Palm trust debris. Ah. Careful. Ah. I haven't okay, seen a single cop. Time. I haven't either. That's I haven't crazy. even seen them drive around. No. Or walking in. That's... I don't even see them stationed. They just got out too. They're like, all right, have fun. Pizza's open. <laughs> Do I have a large pepperoni? We were talking about this earlier, but it is insane the amount of businesses that are not boarded up at all. No. Like, no, no There's effort. None. In this entire half mile strip, I, I see one window boarded up. <laughs> a window. Like, actually, a single window. They picked one. Maybe just Try the boss's office. didn't take it serious enough, or didn't have enough time to get supplies, weren't enough supplies, didn't have stuff stocked up ready to go, like places that are a bit more used to seeing hurricanes these past, really this past decade. I mean, they had Irma. That was a little bit further south. That would have, that would have been their big one if it didn't have Cuba. Yeah, that would have been this. Literally, yeah. There's just, just casual cars casually out all morning. I've never seen this much traffic ever this close to landfall. And a major, not a major. Yeah, a major, major. Yeah. seen like guns to hurricane force by now. Yeah. About another hour or two for the last like, four hours. I know. <laughs> it's always that way. Every time. Because it looks so close I know. on radar. That's one thing that people don't understand. It's just like, just sits there and just spins offshore. It looks so close. The only time I've seen it move fast is like Michael was moving like 20 miles an hour or Zeta, where it was like bam, bam, gone. Yeah. Oh, dude, that looks almost out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Watch it say 160, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd shit if they went like official Cat 5 upon landfall. They won't do it. I completely agree. I would just shit down my leg if they did. <laughs> That'd be the first time in US history that ever happened. Yeah. If, if they do it. Because even Andrew was upgraded later. Somebody is sweating at their keyboard right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some poor forecaster. <laughs> I don't envy their job. I'm sure they're all there. Yeah. I'm sure every single one of them is there having a full-blown meeting. Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do it? Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> That's getting so symmetrical. Look how it's all around it. Oh my god. Mm. Um. Big coast for our you know. Bit of an outer band before the final boat. Yep. so close to everything, it's not hard to get back in any which direction. The edge of the high wall is literally 11 miles from where we were sitting. are ripping. No doubt about that. You know, worst case, we could go back to that uh, north port where we saw Simon and them. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of shelter there. Wow. Or, yeah, like Murdoch. Go back to Murdoch, maybe. at 155. They kept it at 155? Mm -hmm. okay. Air Force Reserve and NOAA Hurricane Hunter. Data was absolutely critical this morning in diagnosing rapid intensification of Ian, despite both planes undergoing multiple eyewall penetrations, experiencing severe turbulence. That data supported the intensity of about 135 knots a few hours ago. Since that time, high-resolution Tampa Doppler radar has been sampling eyewall near 100,000 feet offshore with 155 knots, indicating that Ian is on the threshold of Category 5 status. Boy. The maximum winds are set to 135 knots on this advisory. Wow. What a... What a... What an outlook. What a... Ian is expected to make landfall in southwestern Florida in the next few hours as a catastrophic hurricane. No changes were made to the track forecast near Florida, except to be faster to come in line with the latest model consensus. One important change is that Ian will likely remain more intact as it crosses the Florida Peninsula due to both its stronger initial wind speed and faster forecast forward speed. This, uh, and this now increases the threat of hurricane force winds on the east coast of Florida. This necessitates the issue of a hurricane warning on the east side of central Florida. While significant restrengthening of Ian might not occur over the Atlantic Ocean, model guidance has been catching up with trough interaction and a short wave over the southern United States, and stronger than yesterday on Ian's initial or Ian's intensity with more baroclinic forcing. Thus, a hurricane watch has been issued for northeastern Florida up through the coast through most of South Carolina. The new intensity forecast is raised from the previous one near the latest statistical dynamic guidance. What an outlook. I'm going to read that one sentence again. <clears throat> Since that high-resolution Tampa Doppler radar has been sampling the eyewall near 10,000 feet with winds up to 155 knots, indicating that Ian is on the threshold of Category 5 status. Hmm. If that doesn't make your stomach quiver a little bit, I don't know what does. Got some butterflies. We're under an extreme wind warning. Yeah. Or Cape Coral is. Um, what direction do they have it moving? Do they say north and northeast still? Uh, yeah, and they say it's faster than initially anticipated, so. 
probably 10, 10 miles per hour so. Go back to Murdoch. <laughs> Let's just chill here for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's terrifying. Oh my god, there's people in Fort Myers going and playing out in the surge. Oh. Oh no. That's not great. Jesus, people are gonna die. Why are people so stupid? Red dot sense. Oh, that's me. It's coming right here. Inglewood still won't get it. Close. I mean, it's gonna get in the eyewall for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fort Myers Beach is about to get railed by Dew Southerlies. That's a good gust. We played that way. Maybe we should go to Murdoch in a few. Let's just chill here. Good time. Sorry, I'm just getting antsy. <laughs> oh, there's stuff flying off the building up there. Where? At? I just saw stuff flying off the top. I don't know if it was just like little pieces of plastic or what, but no other alert. Just extreme. <laughs> it is time to shelter in place. It is no longer safe outside on the bridges or roads. Hmm. That's a fun alert to get on your phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just little pieces of plastic. This building under construction has little bits falling down off it. These cranes are absolutely 1,000% going to come down. Oh, yeah. No doubt about that. That would be... Should we put the probe out here? Oh, you could put it through the pole right there. When we get in the moat, we're putting the probe out here. <laughs> Is the moat almost too? Yes. Oh, that's the shot, because this is the high res. That's the shot. That is the shot. Now, the question is, do we do it here, or do we do it on the other side? So winds will be coming up kind of more this way. That is a good one. But that'll be closer to the bridge. I mean, I think the winds are going to be so strong that they might not even like stick to the raindrops, so it might be fine if you point it that way. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to get them ready regardless. That's, that's the shot, I think. It's the one. <sighs> <laughs> I'm 
kind of glad it's moving faster. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> but it's still moving slow enough to be like really mm. not good. Yeah. It's not moving 15, 20, 25. Nope. 10 is still, you know. Yeah. Pretty slow. Still slow enough. Hmm. And also, how are we gonna <clears throat> angle it properly? There's a concrete pole there, the big ones. I know, but how do you get over there? There's a drive right there, next to it. I don't know if I'll be able to, oh, there's another one with a blacktop parking lot I could park next to. I don't think the surge will get up here. Let's go drive past them and see what else is on the other side. Yeah. That will also get us a few scans while we do this. I'll get us a few scans of radar, so. At least Murdoch is close. I'm not worried about it. We've got everything so close together. And with due westerlies up here, south, or sorry, due easterlies to east southeasterlies, we're not going to have to deal with crazy surge yet. Yeah. It'll be until They'll be on the other side of the bridge. Yeah. So we're thinking of deploying this final probe where it can see these, which are almost certainly going to fall down. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's at such a hard angle, you can't angle it at it. It's either that or that, which you is a problem. One there. <laughs> like, right fucking in front of it. Let's keep, let's go a little, there should be a turnaround a little bit past the last one. See if there's anything circular. I mean, obviously the street lamps, but I don't trust no, those. Not, those are not going to stay up. That I can promise. Let's go to that next. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. Um, shit. <laughs> I mean, you might be able to put it right there. I guess that one's a little more angled, huh? Yeah. It might be as good as you're gonna get. Just put it as high as I can. <laughs> yeah. This is this is about it for us before we're in the eye wall. I need like a I need like a wedge that's like this to put in the back of it so it can angle itself a little bit. Yeah. V3. <laughs> yeah, it's improvements you're working on. Might need help with this one. Okay. It's heavy. That's fine. Let's do it. You guys can watch us deploy this probe. Keep your window down just a little bit in case something goes wrong. Okay. I thought there was a moat. Hold on. Let me put my jacket on. Okay. 
this. Okay, let's do this. Fiber cloth that we can start keeping up here. Is it just that one? This one. 
Uh, that's not what I remembered. Should grab another one. Oh, here's one. Sweet. Probably been getting wet. But Alright, we just all right, we just deployed our final surge probe on that concrete pole you see on the left. It's gonna capture what we believe will be the collapse of these uh, of these cranes as well as any you know damage that happens here. So maybe not surge, but this is definitely going to be a very chaotic area here as the eyewall makes its way on shore here in the next hour. You can see them swaying back and forth. Yeah. Those are definitely coming down. Look at it swinging. Oh yeah, I think we need to go back to the west on this radar scan. All right, hold on. Yeah, no, no, I'm not freaking out. I'm just letting you know. This is where it gets fucking real right here. Okay. straight on it. Just a little bit further north than it'll be. <clears throat> yeah. I think Hank would like I'm on it. Well, I'm gonna at yeah, least Murdoch. drift back to Murdoch so we can be ready. I'm in agreement with that. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the moat. This is the region right between the outer eye, the outer rain bands and the eye wall. And it's, you know, it's definitely getting, it's noticeably getting consistently windier. It's, it's constantly blowing, but it's, it's nothing too crazy. But right when we get into that inner eye wall, that your ass is going to be crazy. <laughs> it's going to turn zero to 100 real fast. You said Simon and them are on Boca Grande? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. It's got some cojones. Yeah. They've proved that time and time again. Time is currently 11.19 a.m. Eastern Time, September 28th, 2022. Hurricane Ian is nearly Cat 5 status, if not already, and is approaching on its final approach. And uh, we're getting in position. We're just trying to pick where we're going to get into the eye.
<laughs> that latest little ring. Treating it as a four-way stop since there's nobody on the road. Well, there are people on the road, but, but we're we in a situation in where we need to get out and, and where we need to be. I would say maybe on this stretch. Just squad. No, that's I'm kind of picking and choosing. Yeah, the and yeah. Big main intersections. I believe. There are so many people out right now. And it is literally there. <laughs> See, we've got a more consistent wind than we've had. Everything's just kind of blowing in towards the west, which is where the eye wall is, sitting just offshore. So many people still just driving around. It's close. All right, guys, game time coming here soon. If you're just tuning in, we have a borderline category five, if not category five. And the most intense part is right offshore. We're like, we're, <laughs> I've said this a few times, but we are definitely within an hour of getting in the eye wall 100%. It's my favorite number. It's my favorite freaking number. Do all the things, share, like, subscribe, whatever, I don't care. We're gonna shut up uh, and be really serious here in the next little bit because uh, this is actually like could be life or death if we don't pay attention to exactly what we're doing. As cheesy as that sounds, we actually do have a lot of uh, a lot of things that could <coughs> kill us. Water, wind, debris. So we need to be extra careful. lightning increase around that inner eye wall. <laughs> Almost 360. Huge spark of convection just blew up.
at the intersection for now. Just chill here. Yeah. I'm gonna go to this one right here. That, that's cool. What about the same school? Okay. Just a touch more accessible. stop See that lightning spiller around? That's so cool. <coughs> should we get an angle? Again? Let's just chill here, buddy. <laughs> Let's do what we've been saying we should do and just sit here and wait because we're not at risk of surge right now with easterlies. So. This is the moat, people. This is the calm before the storm. Actually. <laughs> Rigsby. Okay. Show, show you guys here what I'm talking about. You know what I'm let's see. Let's see. Pointer. Bigger. Just for a 
brief second. I'll show you guys what's going on. There we are. So, hopefully you can see my pointer. We are right now about here. Let's see what the curve. Place marker. See that red dot? I'm not sure. But so we're right, we're right here. You can see there's this. We've been going through all this stuff all morning. This is what's kind of had those gusts that we've been experiencing all morning, the gusty conditions. And now we're in this moat where there isn't a lot of precipitation. You can tell because there's not a lot of pillars. So that's what happens right before the, uh, that's what happens right before the eye wall, which is this part, this ring, the most dangerous part of the storm comes ashore. This ring is the most intense part. And obviously the eye is the calm part. So we're right here in this moat we're determining whether we want to go back to Inglewood, which is more over here. Do we want to go back towards Punta Gorda, which is more over here. The storm, first it looked like it was heading more like this. Now it looks like it's heading a bit more like this, kind of like the models we're showing. So, coin toss. All these, all these little kinks here, what are called mesovortices. One, two, three, four, five. They've been measuring category five, or at least close to winds in this eye wall. So we're right here. Once this part gets to us, it's going to be absolute chaos. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> yeah. You see how much it was clearing out on that high res one? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Most certainly did. It might be time, my boy. Drone will be ready.
Hey, these people actually boarded up. Good for them. Hey, what happened? One of very few, it seems like. Well, let's not put it on top of the towel. Thank you everybody for the super chats. Not necessary at all. Just subscribe to the channel. Honestly, at this point, if you got some extra money, send it to some charity down here because these people are about to need it. This is about to be an absolutely catastrophic storm. what we'll do if you do decide to super chat here we've made five hundred dollars so far we'll use that that we've made so far to help cover our expenses to get down here if anybody else donates after that we'll we'll donate that to charities local charities i usually like to try to find the local smaller charities as opposed to the big government ones Surge probe was getting it. This is John Humphreys is right across the street. That's oh the wow! The building it's beside. It's already coming in the street. Oh wow! Holy cow! That's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Is that on Severe Studios? and there you can still see the sidewalk that's 16 minutes ago and now over the sidewalk hmm. it's already gone up probably six inches in 16 minutes <laughs> We have a surge probe, which is an unmanned probe that'll run for 25, 26 hours, deployed on Fort Myers Beach, which we're now watching from another stream down there. It's getting inundated with storm surge. It looks like maybe about a foot or so of surge there right now. Could get up to 10 feet. Could get up to 16 feet. I'd say 10, 10 to 12 is the most realistic, but 16 feet is ultimately possible. Our probe is probably, Probably about 12 to 15 feet above sea level. So it's gonna be right right at the threshold if it reaches full capacity. Jesus, Reed. <laughs> oh God. I hope that house that he has out there is good. We were originally gonna meet up with Reed because he has surge probes that do a different thing. They're 
actually measuring how high the surge is. They're me measuring the solidity of it. Um, they're trying to uh, collect actual, like, measurable data, whereas ours are more videographical to show what actually comes of that, um, what the damage is, what the effects are, how it moves in, how it moves out. So we're going to try and correlate those together, but unfortunately we weren't able to quite meet up, but we have probes deployed in the same general area, so it'll still be able to have some valuable resource for each other kind of combine those data sets so that'll be interesting but right now our main goal is getting in the eye wall man i like the idea of the concrete structure to angle with sandoval island it's going <laughs> Me too, honestly. If we do it, we gotta do it soon. Go. I say go. Okay. It looks like it's moving more north, and that's what all the models had it doing. It's not making a hard. Yeah. We're only 15 minutes from that, right? Something like that. Yeah, it's not bad. Second guess ourselves happens. It, it did wobble though, that's the thing with hurricanes. It's yeah, hard. but that's what it was, it was a wobble. Yeah. Got a little antsy, but that's okay. We're still well well ahead, not well ahead, but we're ahead of the eye. <laughs> eye wall. My bad. It's not your bad, I agree.
took the things, they took the pumps and they zip tied them to the little oh. arcing concrete poles. Okay. That's one way to do it. Don't think I've ever seen that. miles, or that's regular miles, five to six miles from the edge of the outer eye wall. Meaning in the next 30 minutes conditions are going to go from this to white out. There's gonna be crap flying everywhere. 
Let's just save it from here and be fun. They could be cool to film that, but I guess stuff from over here would be fun. I liked that open space where like the gas station was, but it's going this way. Yeah. So just stuff in there would be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> it's already starting to pick up. Quite a bit. Lines and stuff are going to start coming down here soon. Thankfully, there's not a lot of tall trees over here. That was the thing during Ida, is there's a lot of really tall trees. <laughs> A bit. Chasing in Louisiana. Not exactly ideal. Not my idea of a good time. Make sure this is getting cold air along it. Honestly, with the way the wind's blowing, that's not a bad decision. Not a bad place. Because it'd be hiding us. Yeah, I just worry about that roof going up here. Pretty easy to shoot that roof. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it. Let's go scope it out first, yeah. and then maybe we can chill around here. In the that, dark back. That could be another potential. That might even be better than the last other one. How do you not see that? I know. <laughs> First law enforcement officer that we've seen like all day. I don't even know the law enforcement. It's a firefighter. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> emergency management. Let's call it that. Yeah, better. I already like it. <laughs> Do we have anything on there? Oh wow. Those things are gonna go pull a little bit more if you don't mind, so we can see a little bit broader of the horizon. I like it. I like this a lot. I like it a lot. I would like to go to the strip mall yeah. at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to sure. film when it's first starting to get gnarly, but this is... This is good. You guys can see this, it's a pretty this, constant wind right here. If the roof comes off, it's going to fly away from us too, so... Noticeably getting stronger, Gus, right now. Share this stream, it is about to get wild. We're about to have potential for 150 mile per hour winds in the next 30 minutes, <laughs> which is for a scary time. thing to say. We found a really good little structure here. Pull this off the mount for it. No, I won't. 
I don't know if you guys can see too well, but we found this big motel that's got this area underneath here that's really uh, protected and it's three stories high in case, I don't think we're gonna get much surge here, but in case we do, we can just bail out. Aaron Rigsby and Max Olson here. Yes, Hurricane sir. Ian's approaching. And uh, we are currently in Ellenwood, Florida. Got a Englewood. beautiful, or Englewood, Florida. Got a beautiful spot to ride out the hurricane. It's almost time. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the radar off uh, so that you guys can see everything there is to see. Not blocked by the radar. is about to buckle for the stream. Yeah. Stream wind warning. Here we go.
radar. Something's making noise over there. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this up far so you just saw. Uh, it's crazy, it doesn't start blowing all the way through here. I'm gonna get out.
It is kind of blowing this way. What's that? Yeah. Maybe when it starts to get real wild, I'll face this way. I'd rather lose the windshield than the back. I'll join.
Oh, it's so close. <gasps> Unbelievably close. All right, we're gonna go drive around a little bit and see what else there is to see right now. Some might even say danger. The eye wall is fluctuating. So it's like approaching us and going back and it's it these big gusts and then that's it. Yeah, we're in the path of the eye wall. We're in, we're in, uh, we're east of Inglewood, southeast of Inglewood. I like about this too is there's not anything really close by exactly it's gonna blow into us yeah there's not a giant metal shed right here that's gonna come slice or a like shitty trailer house yeah. or something. there's a house but it's it's far enough away that this is a one-way so we'll, we'll know if it is coming apart no surprise there's still a lot of stuff to film here too yeah So there's our refuge right there, Sun Coast Inn. Thank you for being our refuge. Are you already? Yep. Yeah, that sort of stuff. This is also a good like open corridor up here, so there'll be signs and stuff flying. Yeah, I was just gonna drive up and down the strip and see kind of what's going on. Oh, we're so close. No, I oh, just I mean this direction. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, there's no point in us shooting at the same exact thing, you know? Yeah. Nope, that's fair. There's no service right here where we have something.
cell service might be starting to get a sketch. Yeah. It says I have four bars and it's not loading anything. Hershey metal, but then I see it's that piece that just peeled off right there. Kind of flapping in the wind. Try not to use all my battery. I know. Yeah, occasional hurricane gusts. Sorry for the uh, stream, it just might just be the end, sorry. So I'm going to use this in the dash camera, which I also don't mind. I don't think this angle is good enough yet. Nah. Uh, so yeah, we're slightly differently angled here.
squad now almost. That park in the intersection? No, I'm going to go a little further up maybe. Oh. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, there's
<laughs> That's so scary. Those are the worst. Why did this look this? <laughs> Back towards Punta Gorda, right south on 41.
really still some pretty cool stuff flying by. I wonder if that sign right in front of it. Wow, every single one of them. Let's go on that train company. Yeah. There's still time. There's still another on the wall.
watching more than to Dorda right now. That bridge was scary. That was scary. <laughs> the hood was like, it was like literally lifting me up. I was like, oh no. Gotta commit, just keep going. Flip.
like a little park. Nicer than the ones we were filming. Up. There. in the eye. No data. Must be 18. No data. I mean, it actually says three quarters. It says on there, no data. 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 I'm avoiding a tree, so don't freak out. Getting around a tree, nobody coming. Or that building fell apart, looks like it was on a construction boat.
so it'll be a calm eye or a rowdy one. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be too much. I'd love to be around. Sir.
obnoxious point of sunshine. I'm just going to Slightest, I'm completely dry. Need that. Yeah. Need that. It was only like 40 bucks. Need that. Need a better reject too. The reject is just soaked. I need one like Steven has. Steven's got a good one. Yeah. That one looks like rain doesn't even like it just repels right off it. <laughs>
okay. Out of it if he's not moving. Okay. Let's get out. No, just like it's a. He's, he's going down there. Let's get to where we can see all this crap.
<laughs> well, that's a styrofoam today. why you don't stay in a mobile home park. Here, hold on, stop, I'm gonna do it. Do you wanna still shut our drive-by? Animal on part.
Yeah, yeah let's stop here because it's kind of cool how it's dark and then light. Yeah. I'm gonna step out real quick. Okay. I will too. made it to the eye, buddy. This is crazy. You said something before I got out. Huh? Did you say something before I got out? Uh oh. I thought I heard Buddy. I was like, oh. but I, I think I maybe said we did it, Buddy. Oh, oh yeah, we did. center in the eye. It's gonna look cool. I was gonna say should I turn east back there? It's cool. Let's go smack center in the middle. Behind me, rider, and 
darker off this way. It's a little rowdy, but uh, now we're almost dead calm. Oh, I wasn't even recording. Oops. <laughs> Currently in the eye of Hurricane Ian. A little rowdy for a little bit, but now we're almost stuck in the middle. You can see behind me. And the darker and the brighter areas. And now we're almost decked off. So we did it with that. Here's our position for the blue dot, blue target right in the middle there. And that's what it looks like. And the birds chirping. Pretty cool, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I can't believe we actually pulled it off. surface is definitely shit here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 
cheese and sesame. Mm. Have a picnic in the eye. Why the car got damaged at all? It's gonna be hard to tell. Yeah. I don't think it got major damage. No, either. I'm sure there'll be some scratches. I, I look on this side, at least I didn't see anything crazy. It's got a lot of shit on it, like grass and leaves and stuff. that trailer park. Okay. See if I can get that calm eye for the drone up. I don't know what the like half circle A means, but that like it's a half it's like a half circle A with an extension. Make it track data. I couldn't figure that out, but I know how to get it to be right now. Jim Eds was in there. In where? Fort Myers Beach or Fort Myers area. and then it like started to hit when I got nervous and then by that point it was too late. Are my Cheez-Its in the very back or are they in the back seat? They're back here. Okay. I just wasn't gonna dig if they were.
Hold up. I tried to get out of the way and it went south. Do you want me to drive? Um, I'm gonna go up to that trailer okay. park again real quick and see if it's calm again, and then maybe. Was this one mine? The one in the front? Yes. Because I wasn't gonna offer it. Oh. 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 <sighs> we definitely got way worse wind where we were. Yeah. Oh, that is no doubt. We got scary winds. Yeah. I mean, maybe they got a few of that before we got there, but ours was a lot. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got, oh no, I'm a little <laughs> nervous winds. <laughs> Shoving the car, yeah. bouncing it around. That's a problem. Something in the rope. Yeah. Oh. Something in the way. Mm. I'd keep on mixing because the time. Oh my god. That's not fun to play the tires. Well, for all those streamers, I know there's only <laughs> well, 5,000 of you that stuck around or found it again, but this is what it looks like to be in the eye of a hurricane. It's not perfect, but it's pretty calm and brighter than everything else. No rain. And, uh,. Appreciate you sticking along with us. There's a uh... Oh. 
Did they move it? He is. I guess we could have thought of that. No. Oh, yep. Yep. Thanks, citizen. <laughs> We're smart. I am a storm chaser. I am storm chaser. <laughs> you guys have any catch with my chance? Oh, we can hold it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we know you did. Yeah. What did you start to say? Oh, we might want to. Ah. Okay. Oh, we moved in. All the signs back. Sign? Just all the signs oh, bent yeah. over. I wonder which way the wind was blowing. Well. My calculations are correct. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm oh, boo boo. Aaron. Key. Huh? Key. Emergency something. How's that? Hi! Look everybody, it's good shot. go back to Punta Gorda. Same. Yeah. We rode most of it. I, out there, the gusts were stronger. Yeah. Oh, we came. The worst we got was when we were out by, um, what was it? What was it? Starts with the E. Yeah, whatever that the one that we were originally targeting, that was where we got our strongest. That where we got that's where we got the holy shit gusts. I, I hope so. But we went once we got to Punta, it was just like we were just driving around, just getting shots. It, it, it was you know it was solid cat three gusts. We got a hotel here, and I got surge probes all throughout here, including on the beach that has like 12 feet of water. You could probably get pretty far, I, especially on 75. You'll have no problem, I bet. There's nothing out there. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll be around. <laughs> See you, buddy. Later, dude. about Fort Myers is uh, at least Fort Myers Beach got completely inundated that's where we have a surge probe at least 12 feet of water I'd say maybe maybe 10 12 as far as further inland I would imagine there's storm surge in there I'm not sure how far into town it got but there's pictures from all sorts of social media out, uh, outlets of crazy storm surge in uh, Fort Myers Beach which is where we put one of our probes so Hopefully it survived. Hopefully everybody on the island is okay. Aaron's trying to launch his drone. I'm not sure how well that's going to work for him, but... It's starting to get kind of gusty again. Oh, he got it up.
<laughs> His drone is fighting him. <laughs> attempt the drone, I don't think. It's a good, valid, noble effort. Not quite? It's a little spicy for <laughs> it. it. It'll work, but when I try and fly it, like to the right, it just gets taken. <laughs> yeah, hurricanes do be like that. They do, that they do. Try and see how close to Fort Myers we can get. <laughs> no, that's gonna be surged forever. That whole this, I mean, yeah. So there's Fort Myers Beach, right in there. They're mm -hmm. just gonna be getting westerlies all night long. Okay, we'll just drive into it. They're not gonna I'm get unsurged until tomorrow. I'm just yeah. So we'll 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 stay around here tomorrow. We'll make the valiant effort to head down that way. Just by then we'll all be gone. Thankfully, it doesn't look like there's anybody in that park, at least not many. Guess I can start working on a package. Yeah. You gonna do that and I'll drive? Yeah. Ooh, that's good bathroom. <laughs> Hi. I'll just drive us back to Punta, and then I'm gonna start working on a YouTube video. Okay. And then we can just do whatever we want. If we want to go back to the hotel or drive around in the back half, we can just kind of play it by ear. Yeah, it gets calm again. <laughs> but we'll need time to turn tomorrow morning, right? No, we won't. We just find up a package without a drone here right now. Plug it in, plug it in back here. Oh, I will. <laughs> It'll pop a piece. Max, we're in the core. Wow. 
wonder what your thing's reading now. You want to try it again? Yeah, let's Actually, try it again. Just pull it up right here. I thought your phone got wet and it like scribbled on your thing. I was like, oh. No, that's an autograph. Okay. Uh, Alrighty, kids, buckle up. Back to come till we go. Wind stopping is kind of annoying. My drum is just. <laughs> it's like, oh, I saw it. I was, I was trying to zoom in on the live stream. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is always good. That is a good sign. That means it's happy. Also head to the hotel where it's dry and yeah, cooler. Not be a bad idea. Just remember when that happened to Blind during Florence. Yeah. It also happened during Harvey. Happened during. Happened during one one twenty twenty. sides here but not too bad all the storm surge was further south I didn't get that wet I know it didn't it's it's literally just super 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 moist
backup laptop. It'll lag a lot, but... Yeah, I'm just saying here, I've got my laptop, which will do... It'll do my files just fine. It doesn't do yours too well, but... Or at least we can get two packages up. Two little baby packages using each of our backups. There's an anemometer tower. south of Punta Gorda, coming back into town. We went and tried to get as close to the middle of the eye as we could. Yeah, we um, just filled it with cloud cover as soon as it made landfall. Yeah, yeah, we just kind of went to get pressure and feel the calm, get a screenshot on radar scope. But uh, yeah, we're, we're hey. probably heading back to the hotel hey. here shortly. Oh, well, y'all are heading back to the hotel? I think so. We've been driving around for quite a while and we've seen pretty much what uh, there is to see around here. So we might drive around a little bit more, but Aaron's having some laptop issues and We've just got a few things that we're trying to get resolved, so it might be easier if we do it okay. at the hotel. But I just wanted to make sure you guys were all set and good to go. Yeah, we're good. We're just driving around right now. We were still thinking if we were going to get the back end surge or what here. I, do you think we will? I, I think we're. It's too far south, isn't it? I. It's. You know, I, I don't know in these certain situations, truthfully. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird one. Because I, I've seen the back side push more water in than what the east side did. I mean, Zeta did the exact same thing. I was in the eastern half of the eye wall, and I barely got surged, but as soon as the back edge came in, everything filled up with water. Hmm. Interesting. Well, yeah, if that happens, let us know. I think we're still going to head back to the hotel and at least reassess, but obviously we can easily head back out. We're also at a half tank, so we're trying not to... Uh, Very very true. Use everything we got since we're gonna have to get down to uh, get down to Fort Myers Beach here tomorrow, hopefully. Let's yeah. Try. Yeah, part of me wishes we would have rode it out on that bridge. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, some, uh, something that we haven't experienced yet. How, would, how, yeah. how are the winds in Punta Gorda the whole time? Uh, they were pretty strong. I mean, we probably gusted a 120 there a couple of times, yeah. but. I mean, we were in a very well-built area, but yeah. that's kind of what we were doing was kind of being at a well-built area so we can watch the surge come up because we had a great view of that. And then, you know, the eye kind of filled in because we were like, okay, we'll get in the far west end of Puerto Gorda as possible. And yeah. then we'll, you know, get a stadium effect. That's what was the original intention. I gotcha. So... Well, uh, we'll see you back at the hotel at the very least. Uh, if something crazy happens, just you know, shoot us a text maybe. We'll do. All right. Well, good stuff, man. Glad you guys are all right. All right. I'll talk to you later. Later. I think the AC went out. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I don't want anything anymore. Cole and I had this happen in my rental car. It's weird. We had the same exact thing happen. It was weird, and then it just randomly fixed itself. Hmm. We are looking to see if like the condenser was punctured or anything like that, and it just came back.
taken everything from me. Someday we'll figure out this whole search thing. Yeah. I mean, we kind of did. We got it in the right spot. We just didn't. Oh, look at we have power over here. Oh, look at that. The things are just twisted the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know what to do. That's hilarious. Uh, power's on, but the lights are twisted because of the, you know, wind.
I am glad that these are all falling so that they can replace them with good ones. And just in case I haven't said it 17 times.